Hmm? Black hand. What you mean black hand? Oh, oh. Don't, don't start that racist shit over here now. Oh, he will. <laughs> Ain't no racist. He will take it down. <laughs> Funny as hell. Ask him the right shit. He will take it down, y'all. Uh. Hey, where y'all going? Oh, I'm straight on that. I'm going to the purple shell. Hey, man, say, man, if you don't know now, you do. You tune into another episode of the Purple Shell Podcast, and we popping it. You did. Yes, sir. I am your host, the real him, not them. Hey, it's your boy, Reality. You did what I'm saying, man? Hey, and this episode is brought to you by the Dirty Turtle, man. Get you a glass. Don't sit fast. Sit, sit slow, slow on that Dirty Turtle. You yeah, did what Lord. I'm saying, man? Hey, and we're going to keep bringing you these special guests to the Purple Shell. You did. Hey, for, for the ones that don't know, though, let them know who you are. Uh, Sorry, the kid. Okay. I guess. You guess? Yeah. <laughs> I guess, nigga. <laughs> Sorry, the kid in the building. Yeah. And yeah, who your player partner is, man? It's your boy, Lord Owen, man. Shout out to him. You did what I'm saying? Is this your boy? This is your boy, man. <laughs> boy, it's, better, it's better than guessing who the fuck you are. Just <laughs> I think I'm shy. <laughs> should, you're not everybody's boy, though. Yeah. I that's, that's what that should get corny. It's a safe space mm. for friends. Y'all know what the fuck going on, and niggas don't be nah, know what's going on. Yeah, they they definitely, know, they they definitely don't be know what the fuck. That's extra. <laughs> you're not my boy. Nigga. I hate that shit at the open mics when they, you know what the you fuck. You know what the on. fuck going. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, we never see you, sir. Right. <laughs> at <laughs> all. Like, let's introduce yourself properly. <laughs> my bad. I started this shit off real negative, y'all. See what I'm saying? Sorry yeah. to kid in the building. Lord on in the building. Let's pop that shit. You dig what I'm saying, man? So, yeah. So, so. Since we got you in the building, let's let's start from 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 like the beginning. Of how you even got into what? Just a, just you in general. You know what I'm saying? Just, how I got into me? Just how you got into you, man. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? That, me? That's bro. what you mean. You said yeah, I, know, um, I, know, I know you didn't like the head jobs. Yeah, I already got all right. Facts. You know, um, you know like like you, said, you mean like as far as music in general? Just like when you became who you was. Like let's start back from like where you where you started from. Where you was born at? Like where you started? Oh, I mean, at, you know I'm, I'm from the Bronx though. Okay, I was born in the Bronx. Okay, New York. My whole family is from Harlem. Okay, they moved to the Bronx where I'm from. Okay, you know what I'm saying Concourse Village over there, right by a couple blocks from Yankee Stadium. Mm. Then we moved to Atlanta um, when I was about nine. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've been in Atlanta since I went to elementary school out here. Okay, bet. You know what I mean? I, I went. I really went to. A lot of people don't know this. I ain't. I ain't even. I was in Atlanta. I, I got the cop. I say about eighth grade. I never went to eighth grade, but mm. I went to. Then I went to high school in the cop. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know I graduated from Osborne High School, so that, that's kind of how I shipped it to the south. Okay. You know Pop I mean? that shit. And yeah. then. And then how how how'd you uh how'd you meet? How I meet this motherfucker? Yeah, right yeah. Here? I was out, I was at like a a vent or some shit. Like Fort Knox was in there, and he was uh I, I saw him on stage, told him to rap and shit. Mm. We, we got we got kind of cool. Then then we had did like a couple cyphers at my studio before. We wasn't really family yet. And then one year I had went on tour. Okay. With um Eric Bellinger, twenty nineteen. Okay. And I had made a post because I had I was to the point where like you know I always had a sprinter since about twenty shit seventeen sixteen mm. and uh yeah. I um I I had started to want to hit the road with no entourage. I just wanted like everybody to have a role. Okay. The only thing I didn't have is I had a camera nigga, I had a road manager, I had security. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't have a driver. Mm. Like you know what I'm saying? Because the niggas that I wanted to go to, my niggas they was they had too much shit going on. So I made a post. He responded to it. He was going through some shit at the time. I was like, y'all come out there, my nigga. I ain't got nothing else going on right now. So I was like, come. When we hit the road though, I don't, it's something about this nigga. We just click, bro. Okay. Like we just fucking. Everything like when it from bitches to music to hip hop to funny shit to yeah. making fun of retarded people like yeah. it was everything it was like <laughs> and then it was like one of them like did, did we just become best friends like yeah, fuck okay, it you yeah. know what I mean so we went through a lot on that tour though okay you know what I mean I just think he 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 understood it he understood you know how I moved mm. and uh and, and once that rapport built bro from there we took it and he's a real podcaster I'm not for real mm. and. uh he was always talking about doing one one day, and I'm one of them niggas. Like once I decide to do it, I'ma yeah. do it. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And it just made sense at the time. You know what I mean? I got you. So is that the? You know how everybody has their own like way yeah. of how they see things? Nah, that's how, how that, did you? How did I ain't gonna lie, that was like spot on for real. Yeah, okay. Um, right, don't call me a liar, bro. Yeah, I'm not. I, I, no, that was like the best you've ever done at telling that story for real. But but no, yeah, I uh, I was in LA at the time in 2019. <laughs> kind of like I went out there on some like songwriting shit but I was kind of fucking off and just like it was LA pre-COVID LA too okay, so it. I was really going up I was just partying all the time and not doing shit we had them bitches okay. right so when I uh, right <laughs> I was not focused at all so so when I seen that post though I was like oh this is a lifeline to like get back on my shit okay yeah. and I always fucked with Cy back in the day but like, it was like he said we wasn't really fam yet but I always fucked with the movement you know what I'm saying and the music from the hip-hop to the R&B 
And I just looked at it as like, and like I feel like some people they're they're too cool for certain types of opportunities. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and I never, I didn't look at it that way. I was like, I, I didn't even look at it like, oh, I'm just driving. I was like, oh, I get, I'm, I'm on tour, so I get to see it all. I get, I get to learn. R and B tour too, mm. right? He lucked, he lucked up. Yeah, Come on now. Lucked shit, up. Shit, shit, shit was sold out. Yeah, and it was, it was literally 14 girls to one dude every show. Jeez. Yeah. Like probably probably worse than that. Probably like probably more girls than that. I ain't even hey. count. But it was only like a four niggas in the crowd somewhere. Yeah, fact. And they was with their girl. Jeez. Which yeah. fucked up my perception too, because I was always like I've always been like a hip hop guy. Like yeah. when it came to like rapping and writing bars and shit. But so that definitely made, had me on some shit. Like, damn, I need to learn how to sing for real. <laughs> I'll, 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 like, cause you know, cause you go to some of these hip hop. That's the shit people don't think about. You go to some of these hip hop shows and uh -huh. it'd be nothing but dudes there. But as a fan of, you don't ever think about that part of. Part yeah. of it. Yeah. So you go to an R&B show and it's nothing but women. Come you know on what I'm now. saying? Yeah. yeah. So, Can you know the vibes now? Come you on know, now. I Can you know about them ladies, man? I stand on R&B. Can you ladies, man? You know the, you know the rules, nah, man. No, for sure, for sure. <laughs> so let, let's 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 take it back. Because like, like I said, we, we've we been knowing each other for a minute. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So, for, but we want to kind of introduce for the people who might not know you. You okay, know what I'm saying? Okay. So let's take it back. Because I, I remember like seeing you as a as an artist, being one of the ones that was definitely out and about Definitely about that that marketing. Definitely having posters. Definitely having you know what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, the good uh, visuals, stickers, everything. all that stuff. Everything. You know what I'm saying from everything. from the beginning of when I seen you. You know what I'm saying. Started yeah. rapping. So you know what I'm saying. Like, and I can see the transition from where you was rapping more of. Uh, uh, it was more like New York flavor, more like yeah. influence yeah. to where it's like universal. If that yeah. makes sense now, yeah. you know what I'm saying. And yeah, I evolved. You feel what I'm saying. So. From from making the music, I know you started off. I always saw you as a as a like one of them motherfuckers, like a freestyler, like yeah, battle yeah, yeah. rapper. I like, was, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let, like talk about how you kind of get into like freestyling and battle I mean, rapping and shit like that. You gotta that. think like that's the origin of hip hop. Yeah. So it's like I'm from the Bronx, so I can't skip that. I can't okay. skip that route. I know some of these new artists from the Bronx do now. They're just mm. going straight into the drill. But it's like I come from like I grew up admiring the concept of. We ain't really have a lot of studios at the house. We ain't really mm -hmm. had like you know access to good video videographers and shit. Like it came from like you might live on one five eight, and then this nigga might live on one sixty first, but he the nicest nigga on his block, and you the nicest nigga on this block. Yeah. And I heard about you, and you heard about me. So at some point, we gonna bump into each other, mm. and, and and our niggas is gonna hype it up. We we might not even say nothing to each other, but our niggas might hype it up. So. Even out here, like, that's how I started. So I love how battle rap is now, though. Mm. You know what I mean? But it's like, I didn't come from the era of, I didn't have time to write about the person. Mm. That's why a lot of, the, like, the clip I posted the other day of my, me freestyling, if you look at that shit, I'm yeah. talking about what's going on, right then, what man. he wearing. He, nigga, really had a, he, I thought he had something in his nose. <laughs> like, I really did. So I linked on that for eight bars. Like, yeah. but the whole, but, but it's like, the time that I had, I used to tell my niggas, when we get on the stage or wherever we about to rap, yeah. like I used to tell niggas, don't talk to me. Mm. Like I used to tell all my niggas that don't say nothing to me because I only got five minutes. Yeah, and it's like and, and it's like me, I like going first. Mm. I'm not going because I came from era like when they started doing the coin flip. Like I yeah. remember niggas was I say yo, and let's do so it. <laughs> I, I never wanted to give a nigga that. I always yeah. was. I always went first okay. unless a nigga made me go second. It's hard to kind of remember your shit. Let's just kind of get. Your it's focus. just like I might come up with something right now. So uh. it's like if you give me that time with a DJ looking for the beat and they putting us on stage, I'm staring at you. Yeah. Like I I I remember doing that. Like my L's used to point that out to me a little bit. My man used to be like yo. What you looking Shout at? I'm like, I'm like, he, yeah, he came up here with seven niggas, yeah. and I'm about to talk about all these niggas. Yeah, you know what I mean. I remember doing that a lot. So it was like I came from just doing that, staying sharp, and I just loved competing. Mm. I always loved con confrontation. Anybody know me from a kid? I've been a shit talker. From if I was hooping, if I was always. outside, I've been a I've been a shit talking nigga, yeah. and that shit always transferred into music. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah def definitely that. So like I I uh I. First time I probably seen you like doing your thing. You had a uh, one of the man your first manager that I know of was was Wacky. Wacky, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you feel? Damn, yeah, yeah man, my so nigga Wacky. Me and Wacky went through a lot, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that that yeah, that's hard because I I definitely seen your girl from from like from I ain't chopping up with him in a while. Yeah, yeah. But then it kind of went from there to I saw like uh Schweinbeck. Yeah, 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 me and Schweinbeck. I, I ended up Schwein. It was like at that time when I was trying to transition, it was hard to get away from Wacky because. Mm. Everybody was, we were so family. Like, mm. I, I knew his moms, like, you know, his pops before he passed. Like, yeah. we were so close. Yeah. You know, and it was like, it's hard to, 
get away from day ones, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But um, I, I was just to a point where I was just like, you know, and Diane at that time, I ain't going to lie, it was probably was a, a, maybe a circle of three or four people that I would see. Nobody was outside more than me. Yeah. But I was like, Diana, like, yeah, your ass outside, <laughs> yeah. nigga. Like, yeah. she was the only person her, maybe Fort Knox, like, if okay. you, you know what I mean? It was like, it was only a circle of people that I was seeing. I was like, I can't get away from y'all. Rich the Kid, Diana, and like, fucking Fort Knox, maybe one other person. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But um, at that time, I just I just saw her footwork, and I felt like she ain't had no structure either mm. with her artist. Mm. So I, at a point, I was just like, I need somebody that's like, that that moves like I move. Mm. And, and, and and it ain't no, I got nothing bad to say about White Guy. I never talk down on White because he's a mm. good person. Sure. It's just, he never was going to catch my feet. Right, okay. He never was. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't give a fuck how long I kept him around, but he never was going to be able to, and I had to make that decision with everybody around me. Yeah, that's how you got to do it. You know yeah, what I mean? And, um, it, it, was, it was just too many days we were talking and he could never catch it. He could mm -hmm. never catch the grind. Mm -hmm. He was always going through something, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, I always had a problem with that. I felt like, um, you know, the, the, the Lord's, you know, greatest soldiers, you know, the, we make our diamonds out of pressure. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like uh, a lot of people that I, I was around at the time, they couldn't handle pressure. Mm -hmm. And and I, and I I didn't I wasn't comfortable with that. I felt like when shit was really gonna go down, they wasn't gonna be able to keep pushing. Mm, and, okay. I, and I'm built for shit like that. Yeah, you know. So I just felt like I needed something different. And Diana, she just she moved like a street nigga, bro. That shit mm, weird. Yeah, bro. she be at that solo. You don't even there, know. Yeah. Like her parents and Alpharetta with a big house. Like yeah. why you hustle like this? Yeah, I don't get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So that's how me and Diana connected for sure. Uh, that's hard though. Yeah. Hey, so, so what was your own um, transition like from the kid and all that to yeah. sorry the kid? I ch I never wanted to change my name. For first of all, I never even want to be called kid, yeah. grown ass man. Yeah. Like I got called kid because a lot of people ask me that. I'll be seeing a couple jokes here and there on the line, like why your name kid? You fucking mid thirties. Like it's because when I was eighteen, I when the first people I was around was Brian Barber had a group on Windy Hill called like Barbed Wire or some shit. He had a studio like across the street from Campbell High School. It was like a laundry mat. It was underneath underground called the mm -hmm. Vault. Mm -hmm. And I was the only nigga that was a teenager. Everybody else was in their mid-20s, about to be 30. <laughs> so they kept calling me kid. Kid, okay. You know what I mean? So I just took the name. I was arsonist first as a battle rapper. Mm. Then I moved to, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go the kid. Because it was already kid in place. So I was like, I'm going to just be the kid. Then I just wanted to start using my real name. Because when, I, when social media started, if you search the kid, mad shit will pop up before Everything. I found my shit. Every yeah. kid. Yeah, so, yeah, I, and I didn't like that. Yeah, so I'm yeah, like, man, I'm not, and then I was like, I don't want to move too far from the kid, which I should have, though. I should have never even kept the kid. Yeah. But then I moved to Sayari. And um, Sayari was hard to search also because Sayari is like a country or some shit like that. So if you were, it, there's a lot of shit in the Middle East going on. Mm. So if you search S Y A R I, that shit, the war <laughs> will pop up. Yes, bro. Yeah. Two different things. So I never saw, so I, like, I got to have something that keeps me. So yeah. I just kept both. Yeah. So that, that that's how the name shit changed, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it, it was hard at first, though. Like, the name switching shit is one of the toughest shit to do because cause all the platforms have to now change your profile thing. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So it's not an easy decision. And it takes some time for that shit to happen. Bro, yes. So when you was um the kid, you was producing, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I always was behind the boards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I started off not even being an artist. Like, I was behind the scene a little bit because when I started arrogant music, it was like everybody wanted to be the front so bad. And I was like, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? You got it. Like, I just want to do music. I don't really care who the spotlight on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I, you know, it was it was a bunch of us. So it was like, go ahead, bro. Y'all got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then after he done, you go. After he done, you go. After he done, you go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'll I be last because I didn't really give a fuck. You know what I'm mm, saying? Yeah. I didn't care about the spotlight. I was hustling. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then, now, then I was already that nigga, like, from high school and up. So I was like, you know, y'all got it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... It That's was, why I it, it was like a lot easier then to tell like what you produced too. You know what I'm saying? Because you, yeah, yeah. you had the tag. Yeah, you had the tag. The production was yeah. loud as this motherfucker. Yeah, a lot of them songs that stuck out was the ones with like Lil Nico and the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Them shit was like defeated yeah, right there. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. nigga, nigga had that tag. I put that tag on every fucking thing. I tagged everything back then. That yeah. shit funny. That that might have been like the first little kid I remember outside, of like little Bow Wow, and you know, like because yeah, because yeah. I was just so close to the situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, type yeah. Shit. I remember like being a little kid. He was like he was a little kid rapping. Yeah, that that that, 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 that was that, 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 that yeah. was a gym getting on with little Nico back then and getting that phone call to work yeah. with him. Um, it, that was that was a good time. I thought he was mm -hmm. gonna be a lot bigger than what he what he ended mm -hmm. up to do. And not that it's over for him, but yeah. at that time I just thought Nico was so. Big. I had never seen nothing like that. But he yeah. just had a lot of shit around him. 
that at some point it was going, it was too toxic. Mm. It was going to crumble. You know what I mean? The, the, the relationship his mom had with the label and him with his moms, it was just, at some point that shit was going to fall. You know what mm. I mean? And uh, it was a lot of shit about the game I was learning back then. I didn't, I, you know, I never made a dollar from that shit though. And I, I had him in my studio every day. Niggas never paid me. Yeah. That's crazy. And he went and got his advance from the deal. Niggas ain't throw me nothing. That's when I started. That was that was the mm. first time I started seeing like, oh, okay. Exactly. All right. But, but but that was my fault though, cause yeah. cause cause I was playing it too cool with Boo and them back then. Yeah. It was too big homie to me. So it was yeah. like, you know what I mean? Niggas was only 22, 23 at the time. And it, and I wasn't really thirsty for money like that mm. back then, cause I was getting my shit dirty and clean. Mm. I didn't really give a fuck. You know what I mean? So it was like, my shit gonna come through, you know yeah. what I mean? But they was you they was you know a little kid is like it's all about money though. It's, yeah. uh, but I didn't see him like that. Yeah. I seen him like nigga, this is my little brother, nigga. He yeah. was talking like us. Like okay, that yeah. nigga used to look at dunk like God. Like okay, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it was like all all Nico wanted to be was us. Everything uh -huh. we said, he said. Everything we did, he started moving like us. Mm. He was like, that nigga was from Cali talking like he was from up top. Like yeah, that's crazy. Like at crazy. 10 years old, like, yeah. you know what I mean? So Nah, so it's like even like I said, like being seeing you from the beginning, I always kind of seen like you was always more like one of the ones that was more business oriented yeah. in, in the game. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't yeah. just trying to rap. You had your, your label, you know what I'm saying? It was the arrogant music. I always, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Started from there. You I was know always what I'm big saying? on business. So it's like I always seen you with the, I saw you with the rap trucks shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. So it was like yeah. type shit. So it was like, just speak on that. Like how, how important was that or what made you? Kind of go into that 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 mind state because I most mean artists don't. you gotta think like I've been a hustler since sixth grade. Yeah, you know what I mean. I was the nigga selling snacks in school. Pop it. You know what I mean. Like I was that nigga every year. And then when I came to Cobb, like anybody that went to Osborne in them days that know me from tenth grade to twelfth grade, yeah, no nobody hustled more than me. Mm. And, and they'll tell you that yeah. I was the only nigga selling shit to teachers. <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah, Mr. Flowers? Right. We graduated now, nigga. You was buying my shit too. Okay, go like crazy. I was getting busy in the hallway. Yeah, like niggas used to ask me my schedule because mm. I had the snacks and the drinks. Yeah, uh, and I had my own drink. I wasn't just selling the Capri Suns like my nigga. Oh yeah, Wu. yeah, specialty, bro. Only nigga, only nigga close to me in school <laughs> was a look was a nigga named Jerry and my nigga Wu, and we okay. all was boys, and we ain't touch each other shit though. Okay, Jerry had the chicken biscuits, <laughs> Wu had the Capri Suns and the Tampicos. Ooh, so I was like, nigga, don't sell what I'm selling, nigga. Okay. We getting, you know what I'm saying? If I'm at the 900 building, you take your ass over there by the science hall. Leave me alone. Yeah, that's your block. Cause I'm gonna get this shit off. I, and I used to do this shit where. I stand in front of the um when I started selling honey buns. I stand in front of the um vending machine. It was a nine hundred building. We only had one vending machine back mm. then. In Osmo. We was yeah. poor, so I would stand in front of it like, bro, you buy this shit, you a hoe. I got this shit for <laughs> fifty cent, nigga. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I, really, I, I was in front of that. You couldn't you couldn't dodge me. Every time that bell rung, I'm jetting to that vending machine. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I know what y'all want. Y'all want Come it's on. only two honey buns, nigga. It's the regular cinnamon swirl or the one with the vanilla icing on. Okay. I got both. Got them. Come holler at me. Yeah, you know what I mean? And that's how I started. And I was selling to everybody, not just us type niggas, like okay. the weird niggas. Everybody, the everybody weird gotta niggas. Eat. Yes, nigga. Yeah. That on. honey bun, you put that bitch in the microwave for five seconds back then. That's a whole meal. That shit was crazy work. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was like a number one in Chick fil A, nigga, oh, for a kid. Yeah, for real. Yeah, for nigga. Real. Hell yeah, that shit was 75 cents to a dollar. I got that shit for 50. Shit yeah. So I was killing back then, you know what I mean? Mm. So I took that to the street. Yeah. Outside, whether it was music or something dirty. Mm. Which ain't none of your business, but right. it was like whatever it had to be it was gonna be. Mm. Cause I was gonna get my, cause my parents ain't had no bread. My parents was poor. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it was like I had to figure it out. You know yeah. what I mean? Now that's hard though. Nah. Yeah. So and then and then one of the other things is like I, uh, I always seen you. You know what I'm saying? With, with the with the, you into the sports. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I tried to hoop. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I just love competition. Like. Yeah, cause you out. Being from being from when we back in the day playing in the LA fitness, you always was one of the ones that shit talking all day. You know what I'm saying? Popping shit. shit, boy. Easy. <laughs> oh yeah, yelling easy, being L yelling easy after after a bucket. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So so <laughs> how, how you kind of relate the music with the with the with the with the with the hooping? With you know hooping, what I'm just yeah. competing, bro. Yeah. Like I love competition, my nigga. Like I might do it with my homies. Like we doing a joint, man. I might get all that look like I'm about to burn you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like me and my nigga Mickey Fax, we did a we did a joint for the girls. I texted him when I was done. I said, bro, I'm about to send you this joint back. Good luck. I said, I burnt you on this shit. Mm. I, I'll tell. It, that's a, it's a song for bitches, bro. Yeah. yeah. With Raheem Devine on the hook. Like I'm like I'm still on that shit. Like crazy. Mick, I yeah. burnt you on this. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know you might have got me on the last one. Allegedly it was close, but this one ain't close. And he hit mm. me back like you you right. You burnt <laughs> me on. Like I'm I'm just like that. Yeah. Like. Anything I'm doing, you know, you hear the stories of Kobe and, or Jordan trying to win it, everything, cards, thumb war, flip a, a nickel. Like, I'm one of, I like 
it's like life could be boring, bro, if you don't bring competition into it. It's like mm. everything is always cool and subjective. I ain't with subjective. Mm. No, when we leave here, I won. Yeah. Or I lost. That's real. It's like, but I'm not going to just leave here like, I'm not going to get, because you know how it's, you got too many niggas on this like, man, I ain't playing for real today. Like, <laughs> yeah, man, I'm going to bring it out of you, nigga. Yeah. Just yeah. put $20 on this shit real quick. Come on. Because I know you don't want to lose that dub. You That's know what real. I mean? So it's always like, you know, people I, that I admire is like Hov, you know, Kobe. You know, I come from like the the, the, the Magic Bird era. Like, I like the stories of it. Like, I didn't get to see it, but like, the stories is like, that shit sound like niggas just bringing the best out of each other. Yeah. Thanks. You know what I mean? Um, And so... I, I'd rather be that than the, than, than the nigga on the other end, mm. you know, and so pause. But, you know, <laughs> I just a- like to compete, bro. I just, and, and then I'm a shit talker, so it kind of brings out, some days I don't really got it. So it's like, if I don't talk, if I talk shit, maybe a nigga will say something back and it'll turn into that. Yeah, that's how it you usually know? be, though. Yeah. yeah. No, so, so uh, speaking on, like, competition, like, you know what's going on right now with the, the mm-hmm. whole like battling, they they doing the disc records, you know, Dr- yeah. Drake, Future, yeah. J. Cole, Kendrick, all them right mm-hmm. there. How you kind of feel about that situation? You know, I what like I'm it, bro. Just, yeah. bro, compete, man. Yeah. Like, I, I don't like that shit Cole did. Like, I, I yeah. and, 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 and this he did that right after I just was saying Cole might be the best rapper that's high enough right now mm. in the game. I, I just thought he was on a run where I was like, all right, now I was like, that feature run he on, yeah. I was like, if Cole drop a classic album. If that fall off shit is classic after yeah. what he doing, yeah. I was like, only thing that could, uh, only thing I haven't seen from Cole, and I kept saying no it. No war, said, he ain't been no battle. I said I ain't seen him battle tested, Mm-mm. and I was like, that shit ain't. I said being nice ain't everything. Be, mm-hmm. I, I, bro, I done seen the most skilled nigga with basketball, and then that one nigga that come in there, that's a dog. Yep. Be too aggressive with him, and he don't want the basketball <laughs> no more. At all. Mm-hmm. I done seen it a thousand times. <laughs> yeah. I, I done seen. Niggas pop that shit, and then a nigga that come a little too aggressive to him, and they don't. Now all of a sudden, you sit Indian style and burn sage. I thought so. <laughs> I thought I knew. I knew some one of you niggas was gonna come out like that. Yeah. yeah. And it's like it's like like we can say what we want about Drake, man. You can call him a white boy like Ross doing. You can say he have Jewish. You can say he Canadian. But that nigga will be at a URL smack event. He yeah. has something in him that 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 enjoys seeing the yeah. battle culture. Mm-hmm. Facts. So whether he win, lose, or draw, he gonna go. Mm-hmm. And so. I just he think Cole won, from shit. Cole won ready for it. And, yeah, I, and yeah. I, I think it's affecting Cole a lot worse. It's like this. If fit, if we would have physically saw 50 Cent in the heat of his run lose a fight or get robbed, he couldn't say what he was saying. Mm, so yeah. Cole's whole shit is two things. He talk about the culture on some peaceful nigga shit or he talk about being the best MC. Mm-hmm. Can't do that no more. Yeah. yeah. So So I don't really know... What what he can he do now? Do you feel do you feel like it made it a little bit worse because just two days before he just got off the tour with Drake? Wait, worse what for what? Like Cole apologizing. Like Yeah. Yeah. It made it worse because if you listen to his last twenty verses, he's literally talking about he's how the he's the best and I am killing these niggas on this song and I'm saving niggas right. on this verse and I'm killing mm-hmm. But I'll, you you better not say that no more. I think I think too to like his point about competitiveness, Ken- Kendrick and Drake, I feel like, are willing to risk whatever for the sake of legacy mm. when it comes to competition. Mm. And I think to his point, and none of us saw it coming with Cole, but I think Cole was like, damn, for the rest of my career, do I maybe not want to be cool with Kendrick and not want to be cool with Ross and not want to be cool? Like, he, I think he cared too much about that peaceful type of thing, mm. whereas Drake could be on some shit like, okay, cool, when Kendrick came in the game, I was cool with him, but... Now I'm not, and he coming for the throne, yeah. so this matters more to me. Yeah. And to his point, I feel like Dot and Drake, they both have that. They both mm-hmm. have that thing where it's like... They're bro, around it. Yeah, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Dumb. Like, Bro, they're around it. Yeah. So it's like, if you're not around something, bro, I promise you, unless you're just the one. If you're not around something enough and you don't have a reps in something specific, yeah. I promise you, bro, at some point, that shit gonna show. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it's like, me and my niggas, it's like, we have... My niggas I grew up with, it's like they have a certain rapport. So it's like at some point I know what it's gonna be. Because I done been like me and it's like me and my man H, it's like we done been through so much shit. It's like it I know if some shit happened, if some shit about to go down and it's me and him against whoever, I already know my nigga about to go. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of time before he punch you in your shit. Mm. But it's like if Cole, if if he don't got Dreamville having that competitive nature. Like, me and my niggas, Eric Music, one thing we had, bro, 
I used to make niggas do 24 to 36 bars or 48. Like, we used to double up. And I used to make niggas, oh, I was first today, nigga. I'm better than you. Like, we used to have that going. Mm. So, so at some point, somebody was going to get used to it. You know what I mean? It was like, if you don't have that competitive nature where y'all not used to certain shit, like, you know what I mean? Like, if you might be rolling with niggas for a certain amount of time, but if none of y'all niggas ever fought and then y'all lit and then they go down, you, <laughs> bruh. I'm telling you, you're not going. You're not going to know what to do. And, yeah. You're going to be surprised. Like, damn, my nigga ran out the door first because you never seen him in nothing. Me and all my niggas, all, bro, I probably had seven niggas growing up. I probably fought four of them, maybe three. That's just how it was. We ended yeah. up brawling for something because we boys. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So it's like if you ain't fought with your niggas, ran trains with your niggas, got money with your niggas, if you don't, once you do one of those things, you're going to see something different. And I just feel like Cole ain't really been... It's like, bro, I can go, I can get into him with all, all the time. We talk about all the time. Like, he swear he nicer than me, but I'm like, nigga, no, you not. No, you not, nigga. I'll burn you right now. Shut up. You won't. Like, and, and then it's tomorrow, nigga. I love you, my nigga. Let's let's move. Right. That's how it's supposed and to be. I, and I think, I think too, with Cole, I think, I think it was just like, first an example of, I still think one of them went under the couch, next to your sexuality. Um, but no, I think, I think that, uh, I think Cole too. It was an example of like, all right. Thirsty ass motherfucker, bro. But no, I think it was an example of like, bro, like when keeping it real goes wrong. It was just like, bro, you ain't even had to say nothing. You you could have like kept all that. Like even if you truly felt that way and yeah. you didn't want no smoke no more. We've seen in the past in hip hop plenty of times where a motherfucker just didn't say some shit back. Yeah, like right. some someone. It. Yeah. yeah, like someone like because it was like you already sparred whether whether regardless of how the internet or the world felt about it. Mm -hmm. Kendrick did his t to his shot. You mm -hmm. did the shit back. Threw that yeah. shit out. That shit ain't work. No, but regardless of them weak. comments. But I'm saying, regardless weak. if it worked, he could have just. That shit was some funny business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it was like, like it, it was just to me. It was just like uh, the total like just bad discernment on his part of like, bro. It's, it's not like this shit was about to be up. It's not like Kendrick about to pull up right. on you and like, shoot shit you. Shit wasn't gonna be nothing. nothing That's what all. I'm saying, like, <laughs> nigga. It, it ain't like shit this, this ain't some Pac and Big shit. Right. This shit like, wasn't gonna be nothing, so it my just, nigga. It didn't require all of that. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas are the kindest niggas in the industry. Yeah. This, Facts, this, this shit it yeah. wasn't gonna be shit, my nigga. Just right. let it happen. You know what I'm saying? But if you're not prepared, then you're not prepared. And then I, I feel like the, even, even like, I don't even think that was really a, a real big diss from even Kendrick. What, what really did he say? Yeah, <laughs> like what was nah, he the just bar? he didn't go below the belt. Exactly. Nah, he didn't. He, he just set it off. He just set it off. He kept it wrapped. Yeah, he kept it, and, and I feel like Cole could have did that. You ain't got to talk about certain niggas. Like Drake went a little left. He called niggas fifty years old, and I mean, you know, he, he was, set your whole ass up. And I mean, because once you go there, I, you gotta stay there. Shit, Drake, Drake is I, one of the best diss rappers of all time. He good. He make he make yeah. the best diss. Yeah, he'll get the jugging. He'll what get the jugging on. Nah, but yeah, I am I am glad it's happening though. It's added this sort of like she was too friendly. Yeah, it's added this like polarizing kind of like yeah. I don't know what to compare it to, but like, it's just every day now. Like, I'm I'm waking up looking forward to like it's he, good for hip hop. Yeah, like even even with the the extra shit where it's like all the AI shits are leaking. Yeah. It's a little bit annoying, but it's still like exciting that like motherfuckers are sending shit about and being like, oh, did Kendrick respond? Did Drake right. say something? Because it's gonna did... be competition regardless. Yeah. Right. Like 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 niggas don't get that, bro. Like bro, even if y'all don't make a competition. If the locks drop a song right now, everybody gonna go there and say one of them niggas had the best verse. Facts. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah. It, it, even if y'all collab, if Wayne and Hove and Drake make a song, the internet is gonna go this like when Andre 3000 did the last song with Kanye, he killed Kanye. Mm. That's all you saw. Yeah. No, it's you can make it as peaceful as you. I don't care how many flutes he played. That nigga know he gonna get on that shit and eat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So right. either y'all make it that, or we gonna get in this room and say, man, you heard that last joint? He went crazy. Yeah. yeah. So it's like that's hip hop, nigga. This ain't pop. You're never going to go in here and say, Lady Gaga ate Madonna on at 16. Did you hear it? No, no. nigga. This is the culture. Yeah. So in the culture, the barbershop and the streets and the bitches, they're going to get the talking. You can't duck it, even if you try it. No, we're, we're homies. We don't do that. All right, well, he, you killed him. <laughs> Facts. You killed him, nigga. And that's what we think. So it's going to be that anyway, because you can't duck what hip hop is. Yeah. This shit started before you niggas. So you can you could try to dodge that shit all you want, bro. It is what it is. You apologize. You did the wrong thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're not built for it. What, who who, who y'all think up though, and, and how do y'all see it playing out? Like, really? I see when I when I first seen that that Drake threw out that that first one. I said it was that was just a warm up. He Drake, didn't even claim it yet. Yeah, though. you, you gotta claim me? it, bro. You just throw it up like my man. He was trying to look for it on DSPs. You can't find it. It's just you don't even know. So you just kind of throw it out there. See if the next person going. He probably got one sitting in the tuck. He been. Sitting I feel like in, it ain't claiming until it's on your DSPs. Exactly. 
I don't see it on Dream. If I go to Apple Music right now. When we start doing this shit, we start doing all this gay extracurricular shit. Mm. He claimed it, bro. Like, I ain't see it. He went on his story right after that and posted the Kill Bill shit with Shorty with the sword fighting everybody at once. I need him to make it clear. I need him to make it clear. I need him to make it clear. That's him claiming it. You need to make it clear. Then he posted the thing last night with the Hispanic dancing to it. No, I seen that, but it's like Raw shit is on his platforms. Yeah, yeah. Raw shit's on Apple Music. I know that's his shit. But we also, I think we can also agree Ross's motives are a little different i don't yeah. care i like it yeah like i thought it was decent no we i, I fuck with ross i, I thought ross shit was good <laughs> too. he got off beat a little bit but i'm saying the thing <laughs> with ross about. though i think for the masses is that we know like you not the aim even though you was mentioned and even though you was on future's album uh -huh. it's like we want to see the two motherfuckers go exactly. we want to see kendrick and drake so it's like i feel like ross doing that shit i hate to say for like clout but it it's is. like he it he is. making sure he doing the dsps and all that shit yeah. because he's like Oh, this my name is ringing it's right now. Name. I, 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 I want to yeah. see see something off of this. It, it, don't, it don't matter though. You know, you, you could break it like you could break it down like that a hundred times. Oh, it don't matter. He, he did two things. He did hip hop, and he and he and he made sure it was out for profit. What the mm. fuck else are we doing this shit for? I don't mm. care how nigga. Oh, he did it for clout. I don't care, bro. He responded. He did it on the hip hop beat, and he put it out so he could make some. I'm saying, but when I it. ask you who's up, I don't want the first thing you say. He Ross, gotta, he got to claim it. Ross? Oh no, I, I think I think I think Drake up right there now. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Like, I think Drake up right now. Cause it, it, I don't. You, do you think it's AI? <laughs> no, I, I, okay. I, I know for sure. Okay. Like, I got I got from an inside source. Okay. That it's it's, it's him. It's too specific. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Nah, like, AI can't do that. His man claimed the beat on this publishing. Okay. See what I'm saying? Boy, one that made the beat. <laughs> there you go. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? They they they, they publisher announced that they claimed a percentage or some shit like that. So when you, when you do think about like the the, the goats in hip hop, you feel what I'm saying? Who who comes to mind? Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Let's say let's say the Mount Rushmore. What, top four. Top Rushmore. Four. Mount Rushmore subjective. I mean Hove on there. Well, wait, what are we talking about? Artists, top rap four. artists, or rap lyricists? Top. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Top I say, five. What are we I say about? I say rap artists because lyricist goes into being a rap artist. I'm gonna go Hove. I'm gonna go. God damn it! I feel like we're gonna agree on this though. Shit. I just have a feeling. I'm gonna go Jay. You son of a bitch. I'm here for the people. I'm gonna go Jay Z. Are we doing a top five or Rushmore? Because Rushmore kind of indicates four. pioneers as well. Like the Rushmore is people that like was the founding fathers. Yeah, so I feel it. like if you go Rushmore, you're naming people that started shit too. Or are we going just five? Nah. Who do we think is the top five? You ain't got to name Melly. Melly. Top five. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you. Okay, we good. Thank you. Thank you. Jay Z, Jada Kiss. Jay Z, Jada Kiss, Eminem. You son of a bitch. I'm gonna go DMX. If you going four. Say it one more time so they know so, so we clear. I'm gonna go Jay Z. Okay. Jada Kiss. Okay. DMX. Uh-huh. Then I'm gonna go Eminem. Okay. Cool. And I only replace Hove and DMX are my replacements for Biggie and Pop. Because they're That's my time. That's all. Okay, yeah. I understand. It, it really it really will be Biggie and Pac in there. But DMX is my Pac. I got you. And Hove is my big. I got what you're saying. Because of my age. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't root for LeBron because Kobe was my age bracket. Come on now. Don't it, do that. Don't it, get him started don't on this do shit, that. please. Go, no, no, no. We're going to get on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Christ. Don't even go. Yeah, we're going to get on that. I promise you we're going to get on that. I'm going to tell you why my list is my list. My mom Rushmore is like that. I got you. My mom Rushmore is like that because of my age of understanding. Okay. So when Life After Death came out, I was too young. I'm just telling you. Go back and listen to it. Nah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Hove M. Um, you said DMX and who? Don't mind your business. Okay, I'm not doing either one of them. Okay. Um, I'm 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 say Hove M, um Wayne. I ain't mad at that. And um, I'm gonna say Nas. I ain't mad at that. Mm. Just cause okay. he he had so many big moments in hip hop. Great list. Two classic albums. Okay. Good you battle. Know. Yeah, the Ether Great. moment. Longevity. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that. that hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. What? 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 When you hold on, when you say longevity, what does that mean? You know what I mean. To and from, sir. Because longevity. Be, because like longevity at at your peak or just being around. Yeah, that's true. Both. Like per perfect example, right? Both. For for I'll be honest, even, even he though he might be the Robert Parrish. Who? 
Who, who's Nas? Who? No, no, no. So oh. listen, I don't like Nas new shit. No, me neither. That's what I'm saying. saying. Me, me neither. Rare, that's me, what I'm no, saying. me neither. But this is what I'm gonna say, and 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 this this has to be factored because we was there and we remember. But and M too, right? Like I don't yeah, like I don't like M new shit. But that's what I'm saying their their golden moments in their prime, was to me was better than people's whole careers. Really? Like to me, the the the, the magnitude of M and Nas and their and their prime moments, mm. they were they were doing shit that like. You I think Illmatic and It Was Written are like often listed as two of the best hip hop albums of all time. And they're his like first two mm -hmm. albums Indeed. out the gate. Indeed. He came out in 93. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he was so young when he came out and really That's up 30 the, plus years, nigga. He just got a Grammy. You know what I'm saying? What Even I'm though saying, I, I'm yeah. with That's you. 30 plus years. He's just got a Grammy. He he arguably won the rap beef against the greatest rapper of all time. You got to look at your accolades. Did he win it? It's, it's, it's arguable. It's a okay, lot of people okay. that yeah, say he did. I was, I was a takeover guy. I, was a I like takeover guy. longevity wise, yeah. but shock factor the day of? Yeah. Bro, Ether, bro, if you heard Ether e on yeah. Flex drop that shit, yeah, it was, it was like Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. You just went too far. You went yeah. too far. Right. You know mm. what I'm saying? You dick sucking nigga. You love my style. Bitch ass. It was like, oh, shit. He was going shit. crazy. He right. went crazy. And you, and you really expect that from Nas because he was kind of going with. Come on. The, Nas sparred with the, sparred with yeah. the greatest but, of all time. Yeah. But and, that's, and, and that, didn't get white. That, that's that's all, why that yeah. top five shit is tough, though, is because yeah. it's like there ain't no perfect list. And it's like someone else, they, they might have been hotter longer or something, but maybe mm. they didn't have the moments in hip hop that, that someone else had or whatever. Right. Which right. is like even like. I think Wayne's had moments in the past X amount of years where I wasn't the biggest Wayne guy. Like mm -hmm. the whole I am not a human being stage and yeah. the truck fit stage. I don't like and the, Wayne new shit. Yeah, yeah. I, but, but I, I like him on Wayne? features now. Yeah. Like when Every, I see him on features now, he's he been on a run. He's he, been going crazy. He's been the killing features. people on features. But yeah. once again, his run is different. was so powerful. You know what I'm saying? It was like, remember 50's run? Yeah. Like it's like if you was there and you saw fit. 50 had one of the craziest runs ever, but it, it was almost, it was a little too short to where I can't put him on a top five no, you can't list. Put him on a top five. But it was like, Wayne, I'm not mad at him being on your shit because Wayne was the only nigga I ever saw where Ho was about to hand it to him. Mm. I never, I was yeah, like, he bro, said it on the record. Yeah. He was literally about, I'm going to get this shit to Wayne, bro. He, yeah. he had me rethinking rapping. That's how, mm. that's how high Wayne was. Yeah. And it was like, oh shit, this nigga tough. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when niggas throw Wayne on the list, I, I, don't, I don't, I have him in my top ten. He's not on my four. Okay. J I just, just you. because he had to switch his accent to be that good. Mm. That, that's why I owe, I owe. That's the only thing I take from Wayne. Other than that, mm -hmm. he got it. But he started acting like he was from Philly when he got from Philly niggas. That's what made him better to me. His accent changed. See, that's kind of. I don't of, know if his accent changed. Yes, hold on, his hold slang on. changed. His hold accent. On, hold on. That's kind of. Yeah. That's kind of biased though. That's kind of bias and it's kind of contradiction. To what? To to you. How? Because kill him. You feel what I'm saying? You came in a certain way, and then the most popular stuff of yours is kind of like a different sound than what you normally nah, started nah, nah, off nah. with. Hey, hey, I'm I'm not mad at that. You feel I'm what not I'm mad saying? at that. To me, it's different though if a nigga wasn't actually living there. Okay. That that that's different to me. So you feel like he had a, a Philly sound? I feel like he had Philly niggas around him. He had, shout, he had shout up, out to Gilly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had up top niggas <laughs> okay. around him. Yeah. Then he changed his slang. Okay, okay, I got you. Sir. But me, I lived here. Okay. I, I lived in it. I went to teen clubs, nigga, okay. and had my man holding me up while I got a twerk on me. For sure. Yeah, facts. Nigga. Glory I, days. I, I, I was in the coat. That's different. I feel I'm you not, I'm not discrediting him. I'm okay. just saying, but for, for the nigga from New Orleans to be saying, fuck with, you, fuck with the ball. Oh, uh, okay. Nigga, you don't okay. talk like that. Okay, right. I understand what you're saying. I, you're doing that because niggas are around you, and when you from the south and you rap like you from up north, mm. or you gonna be nice because now you got the slang, right? And you skilled, Facts. and now you talking like you from Harlem and Philly. You can't lose. And to okay. that same token, I I use it to kind of compliment them because it's like iron sharpens, sharpens iron. However, it's gonna no, happen. You, you know what I'm saying? So that. it's like it's like yeah, like the north had that focal point of lyricism. So it's like he was only gonna pick up on yeah, that. I know yeah. when and that you shit turned, nigga. When he started rap, when he started talking like he was from Philly, but you, Wayne got nice out of nowhere. You, you could always tell though from yeah, early on though. He, different. From yeah, Wayne. But I feel like yeah. Wayne, <laughs> Wayne Wayne's <laughs> goals was different. Like from early on, Wayne used to show love to the hoves and to the. He always oh, had, yeah. some, even though he was from oh, New yeah. Orleans, though. Yeah. He had something in him that he always respected the lyricists. Mm -hmm. yeah, he used yeah. to always bring up Hove and M and like and interviews and shit. Like mm. he he always wanted their respect and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do do you do you believe that 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 like that rumor of like Gilly the Kid writing for him and shit I like don't that? Know. 
Fuck Wayne is nice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if we get a nigga line. Wayne is nice, bro. Okay. Wayne in the studio all day. Okay. I done yeah. been in Hit Factory while he was in the other room all day with his okay. Bentley outside. Like, I feel like that nigga got nicer at the 500 degrees. Yes. Yeah. This is the this is the time. The, the, yeah. You just snitched on him. <laughs> <laughs> when he stopped stacking his vocals and started yeah. rapping, like, and started talking like he was from up top, yeah. that's what did it. Yeah. yeah, that's what did it, bro. I mean, come on, bro. Isn't yeah, when you when, like when like yeah, because you got to think like Carter Two comes out and shit, and like you got like shit like the Mob setting it off where he's rapping for like six minutes, mm. and it's on like a Heat Makers. Is it Heat Makers? I don't know. But that, it's, that was the Carter Two. Two. Yeah. yeah, and he went crazy on that over a Dipset beat. Come on, yeah. bro. Ain't no nigga from New Orleans picking up Dipset beat. <laughs> right. That's why he was that nice. Yeah. You, you you put a nigga different. like that, bro. I used to tell niggas like all the time. I was like, bro, if y'all rap on a sample. You're going to kill. Yeah. Every Southern artist that ever did that wins. Mm. If you stop rapping on this typical Atlanta shit and you rap on something up north mm -hmm. and just try it, bro, it's going to be insane. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you mix that fucking Philly, that way the Philly motherfuckers talk, bro. You yeah. mix that shit, it's, yeah. it, it's up. Yeah. Because I, I just like talking to people from Philly. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> it's a great conversation. They differ. It's a great conversation, man. <laughs> just watching them talk. Yeah, like, you know what I mean. Like, come on, bro. I love that shit. Yeah, that's hard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, speak, speaking on Wayne and stuff, I know you was uh, you had your your time with with, with Cash Money. Yeah, How, uh, can you speak on that a little bit? I had a great time with them. Not a lot of good business, not bad business either, though. Mm. But yeah, I just felt like I was with them for about eleven months. But okay. I had a gr like, bro. I probably learned the best shit I needed to learn from being around mm. with Bird. I feel like Bird took me under the wing before we was even doing work. We went to New York together, shot a video. I cut a record for him. We did the It's Calm mm -hmm. joint. We shot okay. in the hotel at the, uh, the Trump Towers hey, and shit. that was one of his best verses. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. actually my verse. <laughs> exactly. I was cutting that shit, and, uh, and Bird came in there and was like, man, put me on this shit, nephew. You know, <laughs> just, he just picked the verse he wanted to do. That's hard. But, uh, but yeah, uh, um, a, a lot of people say that. That's funny. But, uh, but now I just, the thing I, I got to do around Bird was watch. He taught me two of the best things I started doing um, in music. And I, I love the way he instilled confidence in people. He used to do this mm. thing where he would tell the same person the same thing. Mm. You know what I mean? And it was like I started noticing he said the same thing to seven different people. But I, I always took it different, though. I, I I felt like he knew something was different about me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, what do you mean by that? The whole same person, the same thing? thing? Like, <laughs> Bert, if anybody been around Bert, go to the rest and Money Man right now. And Burr be like, hey, nephew, it's your time. Don't let nobody take this shit from you. You special. And then, and then we'll all hang out later. I'll be like, man, wait, what did, what did he say to you? And he'll be that sentence. It's <laughs> amazing. I'll be like, man, I'll be like, uh, but in my head, I was like, I don't know. That shit just gave me wings, though. Okay. Like, okay. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It hit different with Yeah, it. it just gave me wings, though. But I used to watch Bird, though. I used to, I used to strategically pay attention to him. You know what I mean? It's only a few niggas in the game that I look at as gods. You know what I mean? Bird, maybe Hove, 50. 50 one of them niggas for me for, for sure. Um, just because I always like the tough nigga on the block. I, I always like the nigga that everybody kind of kept their eye on on the block. Mm. I always admired that. Um, but Bird was, I was like, damn, man, ain't nobody, nobody really touch Bird all this time. Like, and he kind of kind of had that longevity, like. For sure. But um, the best thing I, I got from Bird was his element of surprise and his element of exiting places. I just love that. I, I loved seeing him do how when he ch how he chose to arrive, so that no one could touch him, and then how quick he would exit. Mm -hmm. And 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 seeing that was is how I move. Mm -hmm. Like he'll tell you like when, the way the way we move, you would think I move damn near presidential. Like when we out for mm -hmm. real. Like when the whips is out, bro. Yeah. And we got the sprinter with the truck, and we got like bitches or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like niggas know. How yeah, we move, sure. like, like then he here, then he gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that nigga, I watched that nigga leave so many times. Yeah, for like, sure. But I had to learn it though. I had to be like, damn, this nigga leaving already. Like mm. I didn't get it at first, and and I asked him one day. I was like, why do you do that? He was like, you know, I don't give a fuck about none of this shit for real. Like they think this is me, but Bird, one of them niggas, keep his family and his niggas around him. Mm. You know what I mean? All day, every day, mm. he'll take more time gathering everybody at the gathering spot. Yeah, than being at the spot. Uh, you know what I mean? Sense. I've seen him spin spin something at an event in five minutes. He gave me his Grammy ticket. The time I had went to the, I only went to the Grammys once. Mm. He That's gave when me you his fell tickets. Asleep. Huh? That's when you yeah, fell I fell asleep. But I ain't, I ain't fuck with it. It was too yeah. industry for me. Mm. But but I could. He didn't care about going. 
You don't want to be around them fake motherfuckers. Like, Bird showed me just... I feel like with me, too, though, he kept his word with me. I would have conversations with him where I feel like he didn't play with me to maybe... Not saying he played with other people, but he would kind of bullshit other people. I always pulled up in my own shit with, with him. I never wanted to hop in his shit or... Mm. You know, I always like because when I did that deal, I kind of already had my own bag too. Okay. I think I think he knew that though. Mm. I think coming outside, he knew I didn't need this advance to get this car. I had already bought my crib, I had my mm. whip. Like he knew that. You know what I'm saying? So I think niggas that's getting money. They yeah. like like when I did the shit with, with Benny. Like niggas, one thing about niggas, they know. Like yeah. niggas that get a bag and that's self made in their hood or mm. whatever they from, they can you can tell. Yeah. That's why I always got along when I met certain niggas. So yeah. you know what I mean? When I got around trouble, it's like well, I met trouble late, but it was like. He knew, like, man, this, this nigga getting money. Mm -hmm. Like, like when I did the joint with Benny, this first, the last thing he said on my song was, I'm, I, uh, I got this money quietly, like I'm sorry, the kid. Like, okay. that's my reputation. When I did the, when Money Man, his, one of his first biggest songs was uh, "Try Me," mm -hmm. and he said, um, um, you know, tripping, uh, uh, they when you know, living. Oh, she trying to fuck with the kid like I'm Billy. She trying oh, to fuck yeah, with the kid yeah, like I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, because everybody know I had the bitches. Yeah, like uh, that's that. That was that was me. Mm. You know, what I'm saying? I used to pull up with mad girls. Mm. Like you know, what I'm saying while everybody was pulling up with they niggas on some mm. gay shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like nah, nigga, I got forty niggas, but I got right. thirty girls too. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? So so when Money Man said that, they don't know that that's what that is. Like every mm. time I see this nigga, he with the girls. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like that was my reputation. You know what I mean? So I think niggas that's made, they know that. Yeah. Hey, how the hell this nigga, how the hell this nigga do, got them pulling up and what I'm pulling up in like? Yeah. They don't know. You know what I'm saying? I liked it that way. Yeah. Cause, you know what I mean? Because it, it make it it make it feel like it, when you when you see someone have them in their own already, you you gonna treat them a little bit differently. I don't need you, nigga. Bit, exactly. I don't need you. you exactly. Know? You right. feel what I'm saying? I would like to collab, but exactly. I don't need. I'm don't not. Need you. I'm not these niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and no, no shade to them for niggas. Sure, for sure. But I, I, I worked hard enough to separate myself mm -hmm. from the nigga that you know that is on. He's on his ass. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I just, I always prided myself on being looked at different from that. Hi, hi, hi. So uh, I know. I want to start with. Uh, I want to bring it back to what we was talking about with the with the uh, with the athletes in the. <laughs> And the NBA and shit like yeah. that, and with the goats and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So you was basically trying to tell me that you feel like Kobe is better than LeBron. I don't compare them. Okay, okay. I don't compare them. I put LeBron in the the era after. Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? They 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 had a close era clash, but the times was different. So so the, I know I know I know you remember this year. Mm -hmm. So. It was a year that they were supposed to meet up. It was still a little bit before LeBron time. Yeah, they had the puppets and shit. And, and, and I'm glad they didn't do it because it would have made the argument too easy because okay. Kobe was going to smack them. Yeah, at that it, time. But LeBron team lost to Dwight Howard in the conference finals. You remember this? Yeah, I remember that. Yes, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah th that was the year that Kobe and LeBron was supposed to be like, is, is, is LeBron about to take it from Kobe? But them niggas were struggling with Dwight and Kobe and them smacked Dwight and them. Yeah. So I, I, at, at that time, anybody that was a LeBron fan was like, don't talk to me. This uh. nigga couldn't beat this nigga couldn't beat the fucking magic. Huh. So 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 Don't do that. I'm I'm, I'm not I'm not doing it's it. It's different. It was I feel like LeBron wasn't ready yet too no, though. No, he but, still, but he still was, league wasn't ready bro, for, they, for that. Bro, bro, Orlando whatever, Orlando whatever. used to run with ISO with Dwight exactly. in the paint and he was both he had fucking Anderson Vergeau exactly. on him, bro. What you had a great he team. was dropped I feel like I'm just saying he was running ISO and dropping they 40 the, on Vergeau at night. He got bro. smacked for one. But the the Magic oh, had the offense the Magic had the offense of like what's running right now. I don't care. They got smacked for one by the GOAT. That's my argument. Go ahead, good team. I'm not giving you no opinion. I'm giving you a fact. The GOAT didn't have fucking Mo Williams and Delonte West on his team. How? Was straight. Cole, you saying so Kobe the GOAT? My GOAT. Difference. Jordan the GOAT. Jordan is the GOAT. Kobe is my GOAT. Because when, jo when Jordan was at his peak, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. Let's what, keep it. What's Jordan, what's Jordan peak? What year he got his first championship? Did, 90. This, this, 91, this, this 90. His first championship was when? 91, 90. Yeah. 991. I was four. Mm -hmm. So why am I even why am I even talking about that, bro? Right. Right. Well, I hate when niggas do this. Yeah. But well, why am I even talking? You know what my era is, bro? Mm -hmm. no, let's say our. Our, yeah, for sure. You know what our era is? Yeah. Kobe, mm -hmm. AI, Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady, Steve Francis. That's our era. Kevin okay. Garnett, okay. Tim Duncan. Those are our those are our niggas. Uh -huh. When LeBron came in, I was already I don't have time to switch to him. I can't. <laughs> I'm just being honest, bro. Makes sense. I can't switch to LeBron because LeBron, when he when he hit his peak, I'm a grown man now. I can't put him before them. So now the next era is coming. So now this new era, the GOATs is Steph, LeBron, 
Mm. Kawhi, maybe I don't know. No. It's perspective though, too, because she no. was like 17 when Braun got drafted, so it would have been the perfect the same, time. By the same yeah, age, though, exactly. But I'm already got to think. I'm already AI. And, so you're already in your yeah, mind. Yeah, Kobe to your, me is okay. already like yeah. I can't switch to this young ass nigga. Right. I can't. He ain't did shit yet. I feel the he same. Ain't did I, feel, yet. I feel the same way. Like you know, say at that time, like Kobe was one of mine. But yeah. you know, what I'm saying I'm playing ball, so like just visually. You can see the difference between LeBron and Kobe. Two like, different players, yeah, for sure. You feel what I'm saying? So players. it's like, like you said, like if you was a Michael Jordan fan, you would probably be more of a Kobe fan because it's it's similar. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? The same shit for real. But LeBron, that motherfucker, different. He like totally different, and and it's a little bit outside of Kobe. But that nigga, forty thousand points. You can't. It's insane. It's crazy. Longevity Come is on, crazy. Man. Yeah. And if somebody peak. got LeBron as the GOAT, I'm I'm not okay. even I'm not as mad as as I used to be. Okay. Before the weak ass bubble ring, yeah. I ain't want to. <laughs> it's a ring, but, but but the points, the records he breaking mm-hmm. now, it's like if you put LeBron, I, and I told niggas that if LeBron get the fifth ring, yeah, I'm gonna put him above Kobe. If he get the sixth ring, I'm gonna put him above Jordan. I have no argument. I have no because because he got yeah. four. I'm gonna count the bubble one. Fuck it, he got four. And then he passed everybody in points, even though he played more games, whatever. But he the the, the records he broke with the <clears throat> rings matching, it's not close to me. So he don't got to get seven rings. So you base it off of the rings, though? It's 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 a, it's a what do you call it? It's an accolade. Okay. I'm not basing on rings. Then we talk about Robert Orr and Robert Pat. No, no, I mean, but he was. You know, I ain't gonna say them. Yeah, I would, yeah, if I'm, anybody, I would say rings. I would say more like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar because he got the same yeah, I don't rings. Put them, I don't put them there because it was it was niggas better than Kareem at his peak. Who? Who? Oh, uh, Will. What was actually better than Kareem? What, Kareem. Well, Will was in, before him. In, I mean, yeah. I mean, in, I mean, individually. In, in, in Never. Indiv- indiv- individually, to me, Will was the was crazy. Not individually, Will, yeah. Remember, he was playing all them little white boys. Like, real basketball history. Remember, Will and Bill Russell was the ones going at it. Going yeah. at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. J- Kareem Abdul Jabbar had his own little time. I feel like a lot of was better than Kareem a little bit too. Whoa. <laughs> Me individually. Damn, that's crazy. Now, Maybe now, better footwork. That's I it. I think a lot, a lot. I mean, uh, Kareem, Kareem, I mean, not Kareem Abdul. What she said? Uh, Will- Hakeem? No, Hakeem oh. might have been better than dream. Jordan. I love the dream. Damn, that's insane. Nah, chill. I ain't going there. Come on now. Here's my thing though. So is, I've always felt like, I've, I felt it's like nasty, rings. Nasty I've work. always felt like, nasty work. I've always felt like rings is a, is like a team achievement. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, it's an accolade, Rings. though. It's an accolade. You know what I'm saying? But we make it a solo thing. We make no, I it. Don't. A, I'm saying the masses. That's why they get so wrapped up in Jordan was six and zero. Oh. Uh-huh. They get they, they get so wrapped that they don't look at the rest of the narrative. You know what I'm saying? Because so, there's not a lot of niggas you could put up there. That in, in, in this convo for real, it's not it's not that debatable as you make it. It's like you got Jordan, you got LeBron, you got Kobe, you got yeah. your Kareem, you got your Magic, you got Steph. Because right. if you look technically, if you look at the era. If Duncan would have got that one more ring than Kobe in that era, I feel like Duncan would have been up because Duncan got five in the heat of Kobe's prime. So Duncan should be better than Kobe. He should be, but he can't because because of his, his statistics and never had a scoring title like LeBron, by the way, and never had a defensive player of the year like LeBron, by the way. I mean, LeBron Kobe got won. robbed on that, though. Yeah. Kobe got robbed. Mar- what the Mar- fuck Marcus ever? Marcus yeah. Kobe got robbed. Who gives a fuck? Steve Nash got MVP. No, but that like, matters, though. But it's all subjective, though. That, that's what I'm saying. If LeBron get his fifth... I have no argument for Kobe. He got to get that fifth, though. But here's my thing. Why is it not a, like a declining scale? Like in the sense what? of if I have four, but I have 20,000 more points than the next <laughs> fucking close. Yeah, because I don't look at that. here's the thing. Yeah. I don't look at that. Let's keep it a buck, bro. I don't look at that. All that ring shit is cute. Exactly. It's like who's your GM? Who you got in the front who's office? Who did you draft? What? That's why like when the when Jordan was always shitting on Jerry Krause back in the day when you watched The Last Dance and shit. Mm-hmm. But Jerry Krause was making moves. Yeah. Jerry Krause got him Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman well, I mean, and the best European yeah, player ever at the time. Tony Kukoc. But, yeah, but, but Jordan was like mad at the same time. So <laughs> I say that to say it's like – at the end of the day, it's like who who's the best player? We're Jordan. St- I'm saying we're standing outside on the court. Jordan, bro. The Hideo, the Hideo peak. Bro. And how many rings you got? Were you the best? Bro. That's all that's the gonna so be the, the end of so the argument. The peak, the, the, of, the bro, peak I, was what? For impact, Jordan. Bro. His, 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 bro. Even though he, years? he was going through some shit, so he should have got eight. Hold I, on. I, I hate that he did that, he but did. Six. He quit, bro. Well, listen, well, he quit, he, and let's he, talk he, about he, that. He by the way, the, yeah, he quit. Nah, no, 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 no. He quit. Let me cook for a second. He quit. I'm not gonna tell a nigga he quit. He did. His dad got murdered. So he quit, bro. So if you ain't been through that, I'm not gonna expect a nigga. I'm not getting on for that. Facts is facts. He quit. Quit or not, his dad got murdered. I don't want to hoop. 
You feel? But he quit though. That's all I'm saying. Hey, you dig I'm, what I'm saying? I fuck basketball. No, no, no. no. My dad just got. I'm murdered. not even getting into that. Now they don't want to get into. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's I don't weird. care that he quit. I don't, I don't care that he quit. You're weird. I literally just said I don't it's care weird. that he quit. I don't care that he it's quit. Weird. I'm weird because I don't care that he quit. Got murdered. You want me to say check ball? I no, I feel. I'm you. literally not even talking about that. I'm, I'm, I'm wiping the league. Yeah. Fuck this game, nigga. Yeah. I'm wiping the league. When we come here and do this a seventh time, bro. My dad just got murdered. This is what I'm talking about. Fuck is you talking about? I'm not even talking about that. I don't talk about that. I'm such, the year have, before he have quit. Some fucking respect. Shut the fuck up and have let me talk. Respect. Faggot. The have year before. The year, the year before he quit, it's they crazy. won 57 games. Yeah. The year he quit, yep. they won 55. 55. <laughs> when yes. LeBron left the team, they went from the best team in the East <laughs> yes, to the lottery. Yes. Shut the fuck up. Exactly. Impact exactly. is different. Okay. Different. And no one talks about okay. when he came back Come and on. got ripped by Nick Anderson in the Magic and <laughs> sent the fuck <laughs> home. So, so, so it's different. So he on. never ran into a 70 win Warriors team. He Ever. was the 70 win Warriors team. Yeah. The, the narrative matters, bro. Yeah. Of what? If I leave, who you're playing against, bro? If I if I leave. The East? Don't get bro, me started. We're going to talk about this all day. Bro, no, the gay the ass West. East. I'm just saying. No, LeBron was in the East, if though, right? I, bro, he went to the West. But if why I, he kept going to the finals? Hold on, sir. First off, he, he, beat, he beat the I'm your, just your, your you. big three. He was going to the finals in the East, right? He smacked your Warriors yeah, he down 3-1. Yeah. When, when he went to the West, we know, we know why. he playing against the Warriors. Like he said, the, the so-called best team in NBA history. You feel what I'm saying? Jordan never had to he do that. Beat that. Jordan never beat Bird Celtics. Never. Not one time. He never beat Prime anybody. That's what I'm saying. Narrative matters. <laughs> How you smack the Warriors and Steph Curry got as many rings as LeBron in half the amount of years? That's fine. No. Fuck you talking about, bro. First off, he played. He played against LeBron with a hurt. He got Kyrie, four rings. Hurt Kyrie and hurt, hurt, hurt Love. Curry too. When was hurt? When was Curry hurt? Look it up. Never. No, and, hell and, no. And injury, did he not? That boy was shaking. I'll give, so, you, I'll give you Draymond. So, so, and so, so, so Draymond against suspended. Eagle Dollar didn't have to get a shot in his back, an Epidural <laughs> shot? Oh, now niggas want to laugh. No, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Hey, niggas don't want to do that. Draymond Wallet. Niggas don't want to do that. I'll give you that. Niggas don't want to say that. Draymond Wallet. He kicked the nigga Niggas don't want to say that on game one. Steph Curry with ankle was questionable. And and Eagle Dollar had back spasms and they had to put a shot in his back for him to play. They don't want to talk about that. Kyrie fractured his shit and was out. He was broke. LeBron. Cried like he got his testicle he had a removed. Dislocated shoulder, because, bro. Because he tried to step over Draymond and Draymond said, "Get the fuck off me!" And now he got suspended. That that's had why Della Vadova running around guarding Steph Curry. Steph exactly. Curry should have the five best rings player right was now. that. Who you said? Who was they again? Della Vadova. Steph Curry should have five bro. rings right now. All I'm saying Stop with Jordan that. is, if I'm so good, how we win 57 games and then the year I leave, we mm. only lose two more. I'm not taking. Just no pipping that nigga. Man, ain't nobody fucking with Jordan, bro. Pipping that nigga. I got Kobe and Pippen and Bron over five, bro. He got as much rings as, as goddamn. What's now, I love all them motherfuckers though. Nah, as, bro, as, 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 as Michael Jordan. Pippen saw. How he saw? Are you out of your mind? That's crazy. I saw him the last dance. He was soft, man. He was pounding on the bench and shit. Michael Jordan ain't got no rings without Pippen. That's true. He don't. Fine. Got six though. Wiping shit. Scotty do too. <laughs> hey, wiping shit. Wiping shit in my prom. <laughs> Niggas had to kill my dad for me to stop. Motherfuckers was, <laughs> hey, hey, that nigga would have had eight. When he started winning, motherfuckers hey, was old, eight, bro. Exactly. He beat a James, an old James Worthy Come in on. L.A. He had he beat, infected When he finally MJ. beat the bad boys in Detroit, they was old, and Robin was yeah, in man, there. LeBron been in his prime for 21 years and got And it's still going. Rings. That stinks. It's still going. What? That stinks. Don't Come stink. on, man. The league is better. You and your prom. The league is better. You the league prom, is way better, You and your prom for 21 years, and you got four rings. Kobe have 10. Kobe would have beat the Warriors? Yeah. Never. No. Never. Easy work. Easy work. No, that team basketball even, he, and shooting. He, he never even beat, beat, beat the Suns. He would have beat him. He did. Kill Roger Bell. He, <laughs> he, got, got, he got like <laughs> swept by Detroit, bro. That was a nice team, by the that way. Was that was crazy. Man. Man. That was the first nobody super was team. Gonna, nobody was going to beat them. That was the LeBron first was beating team. them, though. Nobody was going to beat them. LeBron was dropping like 54. They had Gary Payton, Carl Malone, Shaq, and Kobe. That was the first super team ever, bro. I like our role players. I like Kobe with role players. Is that loss what made Shaq? Is that? Did he leave after that? When did yeah, he, he leave? He said, "Get the fuck out of here." Through. I don't even know how Kobe got two rings with that last team. I don't know how he did that. That was wild. I don't know how he did that. Andrew shit Bynum, Mar Odom, and Bynum. <laughs> what a go! What a fucking savage. <laughs> no, that's funny though. Now nah, speaking on the NBA though, I know you uh you be, you have you got records with with some of the artists. A couple of them niggas. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Who 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 you feel like is the best NBA artist right now? Dame. 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 Okay. That's not even close. I mean, who the fuck? Who else doing it right now? I mean, Durant. Durant do his thing here. I ain't got no drum with Durant. Durant rap here and there. And then you got it's a couple of them. Miles Bridges. Miles Bridges. So. He's sipping. Dame, Bridges. Dame, Dame, Dame has the best tone. Okay. Yeah. Rap wise. Yeah. Okay. He Delivery. doesn't jump out of his pocket. Okay. For sure. Um, I, I think Dame does a good job of just saying real shit. Mm. I don't feel like I'm listening to a hooper. Mm. Um, mm. and just just being around him in the studio and shit, he really enjoys just rap. Okay. 
You know what I mean? Um, went he went and did the bars on I-95. I respect that. I, th- I think I think right now Dame just need that platinum record. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, I fuck with Dame. Like Dame, one of them niggas. Like I tested his energy and I was like, nah, nigga, you. I don't feel. And it, it, this was I went to Cabo with this nigga right after he had just got like a quarter billion dollars. Mm. You know what I mean? Like his contract just went up. Nigga was acting dead the same. Crazy. Had his whole family with him. Like you know what I mean? We went to eat at fucking. Noble, nasty ass food. Nigga had like a sixteen thousand dollar tab, paid for everybody's shit. You know what I mean? I just I fuck with him for that. I fuck with him for keeping his family and everything I went to with him. I see his cousins, his moms, like mm. them, the, them the niggas. I respect. Yeah, I've been around a lot of these niggas, like the the, the niggas that we like. These nigga filthy rich. Like, no. Every time I'm with him, no matter what good time he having, I see family. That's mm. the that's what I look at because that's what I'm on. Mm. You know what I mean? He keep his family. Even at the concert, he had his family there. You know what I mean? I, I was seeing the same cousins every time. Like, oh, what up, what up, what up? Like, you know what I mean? So I, lo- I love that about Dame. You know what I mean? I feel like every time we chopped it up and kicked it, it was... Because, you know, you never know what you're dealing with with these niggas, man. It's like, even when I met KD, I was like, I don't, I'm kind of like, <laughs> I don't know. A lot of my idols let me down in person. You know yeah. what I mean? But bumping in front of KD, I'm like, that nigga like one of us. Like, yeah, I never seen sure. no shit like that in my life. Yeah. Like, I was like, <laughs> KD was probably the first nigga I was like, kind of shook with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I don't know. Like, this nigga might be kind of weird. Nah, he nah, real. He nah, is. KD like <laughs> a nigga. regular nigga that just hoop, bro. Smoking everything, bro. Yeah, like, nigga blowing shit. it down right after the game. Like, damn. Yeah. Pop that shit. I got, yeah. a, I got a question while you're here. Okay. Um, Who put the north side on? <laughs> the, see? <laughs> see? <laughs> you, this nigga. <laughs> you know what's funny? Yeah, every time y'all ask somebody that from Kyle. I kept getting the post sent to me. You know what I'm saying? Every time. Who put a no side? Who put a no side on? It's like, my nigga, me. Like, it, stop asking that shit, nigga. Nah, I gotta ask. No, don't ask. It's, it's just shit I gotta know. No, you know, you know, you need to change the question to did did kid, did sorry the kid do that? <laughs> cause cause uh, that, that that question is not subjective. Yeah. It's not, nigga. It's it's me. It's not even it's not even it's not even you know how the nigga be like, you know how I ask like Curtis Williams, like, who the king of Edgewood? And it was it was, it was, was almost like, he was like, it's debatable, or it's like, honorable mention was key. Stop asking that question. Because <laughs> one of y'all grunted or something. It was like, oh, when y'all asked Lil Mike or something like shit. I don't know who did that, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who did. What happened? Nah, but but, but if you don't ask, you need to know. Nah, I feel yeah. like. One I, of y'all niggas grunted. Yeah, grunted is crazy. But what he said, what? When, what did he? I say? don't know. Somebody said my name, and then somebody was like, "Uh, nah, you gotta watch him." Hey, who the, who the fuck? Know. Pull it up. The camera was on low mic, but somebody was like, "Let's pull it up." Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. Oh no, I ain't do that, bro. Because I said, I, I "Me, tell you who bro, I said. me." I, mm. I said, "Young Sean." Rest in peace. Yeah, rest mm. in peace, Young Sean. Mm. Now I only say that because he he was the first person that I know. The answer is no. From the north, no, that was making the moves and doing no. what he was doing at the time. No, mm-hmm. right. that's why I said that. no. I ain't even gonna lie. The first no. person, the first person that I ever heard screaming and, and repping the north side, on like platforms and shit like that, was you. It's me, my nigga. I know. So I'm that's about, what I'm saying. I'm now, now let me trail in the way he's saying know, you with, with respects to Young Sean. Mm-hmm. Young Sean was popping before us. Mm-hmm. Respectfully, mm-hmm. Re- Young Sean was the first artist in Cobb I heard on the radio. Okay, him and Marvelous J had that trap boom, and that was my shit. And that's the okay. reason why I said that. So I give you that. That's not putting the North Side on, by the way. I don't know what you consider putting on. Mm-hmm. You ever you been outside, nigga? Where you from? From Cobb. What school you went to? South Cobb. I never seen you outside. That's a problem. <laughs> no offense. He'll be outside. All right, all right. I ain't saying I was outside. But but but, but you looking at Mister Outside? Mm-hmm. Uh, you you looking at a nigga that had to go through it here? For real, like in Cobb, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like so, when everybody, it's a lot of niggas repped it before me. Don't get it fucked up. I'm not the first nigga. I'm not the. I didn't find mm-hmm. this land. You know what I mean? <laughs> I put the north side on, and it's not even close. And we can get into it because a lot of niggas, unfortunately, I hate it. Get into it. It's a lot of niggas that know that still don't know, because they don't know. They don't know what I went through, because they weren't there. Because they were, they stayed here. Mm. Like you dig what I'm saying? Nobody stomped nowhere else. In Atlanta, the way I I did with TZ. You know what I mean? And me and T don't even, we not even hanging around no more. But I never discredit his feet, though. 
I never discredit the moments that we had because we know what we had to wake up and do. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He wasn't able to do it financially, but as far as like the work and the mm -hmm. grind, he did meet me there though. But financially, no, he never was good with money. Like that wasn't, that was one of the T problems. Like he mm -hmm. couldn't hold a dollar for shit. You know what I mean? But when niggas say young Sean, this niggas, this niggas you can name mm. before me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, and I'm gonna give you the list. I don't know if you know. The, the, the list where I would tolerate somebody mentioning before me is Young Sean, it's DJ Southernbred, yeah, KIP, mm. and Lil Mike. If it ain't them four niggas, don't say nothing to me about Cobb County. Because those were the niggas, Young Sean, Young Sean on the music side of things was the, like I said, the first mm. nigga out. And I was like, damn, it's just possible. It's a nigga okay. from Cobb shaking. Okay. Hey, wake up, y'all. Y'all see this? It's one of us on, on, on the air right now. Mm. We could be next. So he, he inspired me for that. And I couldn't wait to get around him because a lot of his niggas was, some of them niggas went to the O. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, uh, 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 actually, Ronald, rest in peace, he died in a car accident or something like that, too. Oh, he, he was one of the older niggas around that was trying to connect me with uh, Sean before, while he was locked up or some shit yeah. like that. Yo, when my homie get out, we got out. I was like, but it's automatic, nigga. That's young Sean. Like, we knew each other. Mm. Like, everybody, we was all connected. You know what I mean? And so, um, then you go Southern Bread. Southern Bread was, that nigga wave was insane. Crazy. But... I can't hand that to Bread because he didn't put Cobb on, even though we knew what he was doing. He like he if, if there was a party in Cobb at a time, he was on it. Boy, that shit was. Insane. I'm talking about packed. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about like he had the power. Now, if, if he would have took the brain that I had at the time, if he wanted to do that, maybe he didn't care about doing that. But er, he didn't think he didn't think like I'm gonna put this Cobb artist on stage in the middle mm. of this mm. to perform at this time, and and just every night I'm gonna pump him like the way Ray G mm. did Migos. By the way. Right, Bread didn't do that for anybody in Cobb. Mm. So I can't let yeah, somebody nice. give that to him, but I do credit him in that though. He had that way before niggas had a wave. Mm -hmm. Southern Bread and, uh, no, Lil Mike and Kerry, I, them two niggas, I'ma always let call my phone and mm. if they need something, I would, I would do it. Mm. Because I met Kerry when we was outside, I had a strictly business mixtape. It was uh, Coach Rick and Sean Teasy. Okay. He was at Cumberland Lamar. I called him coming out of DTLR. I was hustling them joints. Five dollars, yeah. nigga. You know what I mean? He came out and was like, oh, damn, okay, I like what y'all doing. Like, y'all should come to our club. It was mariachi. Okay, yeah. Shout you know what I mean? Yeah. It, was, it was mariachi on a Monday before mm. we even did the battlegrounds. Mm. He was like, yo, y'all, um, damn, okay, I've been seeing y'all around. Da -da -da -da. Man, y'all should come to the club. Because mm. we had never went to the clubs yet fully. Okay, yeah. Not, not like mobbing yet. And, um... At that time, I was like, oh, I right, bet. He was like, just pull up, man. Like, you come with your niggas. So I was like, bro, I'm about to call every nigga I got. <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm like, bro, now we need a mob for real. Y'all yeah. come and y'all can perform, whatever y'all single is. Okay. They let us in the club. Okay. And so we went in that bitch 50, 60 deep and mobbed on stage and nobody knew our song. You know what I'm saying? But certain people from Cobb knew us, some people didn't. And that, those were the mother, and keep in mind, Brett was DJing. Mm. I think Blue was around that time, oh, DJ Blue and shit. Yeah, shout out DJ Blue. Um, and so those niggas are the niggas, Bread, Lil, Lil Mike, K.I.P., okay. you know, those niggas always going to have the utmost respect for me. But, and even TZ too, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we know what T did. Mm -hmm. But when we talk about putting Cobb on, let's keep it a thousand. Cobb County, we know we love Cobb. Mm -hmm. We know us. Mm -hmm. That's easy. Mm -hmm. That's easy to go to Mariachi, Texano, Red Train, Vegas Nights, Club Q, Black Black Room, so, which a lot of these niggas never even performed at. That room. On the Duck Road, nigga. Yeah. And they shut that bitch down. <laughs> Won that open mic 12, 12 to 16 times. But it's easy to do that. Okay. What's hard is, pause, is the reputation of Cobb. Well, what Cobb stand for? Count, Count on, on being, being busted. busted. Yeah. <laughs> the reputation in Cobb County in Atlanta was we was lame. Mm. Let's be honest. Mm. Now, we ain't tolerate that shit when niggas came out here. We Not used to all. fight in the clubs about it. Go crazy. But... Niggas wasn't leaving Cobb and going to the other side doing that, though. Mm. So the problem was, what I noticed in Cobb, I was like, damn, everybody, every time I, I hit another artist up, they like, I ain't coming out there, nigga, that shit lame mm. as hell. Man, what the fuck you mean this shit lame? Mm. Nah, nigga, it's bitches out here. Like, nah, for sure. That, that was my thing. I was trying to reel niggas in with like, nah, we got some shorties out here. It's a wave. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So what, what me and T did, different from everybody else, was we, t we dominated in Cobb first. Yeah, okay. But, but the nights when we would leave certain spots, we'll hit the black room at 10 p.m. Mm. But, nigga, 11 to 2, we had Club Crucial. We had Prime Time. We had Obsessions. We had, we had fucking um, 
when when uh P Brown had the record pool when that shit was the best shit to perform at in the city. Mm. We we at that motherfucker when they used to put us on last because we was from Cobb. It, that motherfucker had five hundred people in there. You know when they put us on when it was twenty people left and we Crazy. still stood on the table in front of the judges and mobbed that bitch. Mm. Win some and lost some. Sometimes we had third place, second place, and every time we left that bitch, nigga, north side in the building, north side in the building. Every if you look at every street, nigga, at the when Cobb had his biggest wave, it was Arrogant Music's wave. I'm, I'm giving you the timeline. Mm. When Cobb hit his peak is when Battleground Mondays hit. Mm. And we had every sh- big street nigga from every side of town or nigga that had a wave, name who was killing on the east side at that time? Travis Porter. Mm-hmm. Name another nigga from Cobb with songs with Travis Porter at their peak. No, but. Tell me. I asked you a simple question. Nah, you ain't no one. Who else had the biggest song at that time? Roscoe Dash. He was ki- ki- nobody was bigger than Roscoe Dash at the time. Yeah. Name another nigga from Cobb who had a song with Roscoe Dash. Shame. I keep going. Southside. Name a nigga from Cobb that had a song with anybody from Brick Squad with Gucci, Boo, Frenchie, Dunk, and Waka. These are street niggas. These are wild niggas mm-hmm. that don't give a fuck about nobody. Yeah. That don't let nobody in their circle. Who's the only nigga that brung them here for real? Mm-hmm. That had them on Windy Hill. Yeah. Every day. That's hard. I'm going to keep going. Where was Paul A recording when he was coming to Cobb? My studio. Street nigga. When Eldorado Red used to come and sit with Mike Will and book 12-hour sessions and not even record because he had so much trap, trap money, <laughs> what studio you think he was at? My shit, nigga. Like, these niggas wasn't coming to Cobb to fuck with none of you niggas. Mm. They can't, bro. They, 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 these niggas couldn't figure it out because I really went and tapped in with niggas that was from the street on their side of town. Like, we made that happen, then pay for no features. All that shit was free. Every time a nigga came to Kyle, bro, they was getting booked from, with money. Mm. Niggas came to Kyle to fuck with us? Them niggas was coming for free because we sacrificed. There was nice and Battleground Monday where we was five, five, 600 people in there. Nigga T walking home with $800. Why do you think that happened? Because when Duncan Walker come to the front door and they got 70 niggas, we let every nigga in for free because we was going for reputation. Nah, this the one spot when y'all come, y'all got no problem. You know who was at the door? Nigga Big Steve, Big Zeke, rest in peace. Mm. Uh, Zeke, they all good. You sure, bro? They all good. Everybody, let them in. Let them in. Shot boys get there. 50 niggas from the west side. They good. Let them all in. Paul, how many niggas you were? Oh, we got 72 niggas. Let them in. <laughs> <said> 72. <laughs> yeah. Lil Hot, rest in peace. Yeah. Y'all remember Lil Hot? Yeah, yeah. for sure. He died, bro. Rest in peace. Uh-huh. How, how many niggas you with, bro? Who else had a song with Hot and Cobb, bro? Us. Hot was killing. For sure. Hey, man, come on in. All y'all niggas. Grand Hustle at the door. How many niggas y'all with, bro? All y'all niggas, y'all good. Young LA at his peak. Come on, man. Man, niggas weren't doing that shit, bro. Try to bring a nigga to Cobb right now. See what he texts you. See what he texts you. So it. Nobody. <laughs> and we sacrifice money and time and getting in front of these niggas. When Duncan was only coming out here to fight and fuck bitches. Go look at I'm about to drop a clip about how I didn't like them niggas for real. I just told that in. I said, I didn't like how y'all move. You know what I'm saying? Because every time y'all came out here, y'all was jumping niggas. You know what I'm saying? I know, yeah. I know about all that shit, bro. It's a lot of niggas lit right now that might, might pop shit. Like, I know, bro. I seen you get beat up. Like, it's a lot of niggas that got to wash their mouth with me, though. Mm-hmm. I seen you on Franklin Road. Yeah. You know how many niggas got beat up and shot on that road, bro? Red track. I got, and I'm not that. talking about, I'm not talking <laughs> about, like, oh, I heard. Yeah. I'm talking yeah. about, like, I'm there. I'm yeah. right next to this bottle, next to this cup getting hit. Like, I've I been, I been out. So I had to go through that when niggas ain't go through that, bro. None of these niggas went through that shit. Like, every Cobb story that got busy from Milo's to anything that went down, like, niggas don't, bro, ask her. I remember this time, bro, we was even beefing in Cobb over yeah. dumb shit. Yeah. It was a, it was a, it was a time with TZ and... They, they probably never talk about this. Mm. <laughs> it was a time with TZ and, and Kerry. Mm. They was clashing about literally nothing. It was like, they was throwing shots. They was at Texano one night. We at Club Cali. And the bitches was like telling each other what was being uh, said on the mic. So Carrie had had enough one day. That nigga got damn pulled up. <laughs> he rolled up. That nigga, I mean, Carrie, get busy if you yeah. have to. No, but she don't give a fuck. Yeah. Carrie got damn pulled up outside to fight Teezy. Mm. And in this day, Carrie had got damn got to squabbing with Fetty G. Okay. I ain't gonna say what happened. They, it, it, that, that night, everybody was catching the one. Nobody jumped nobody because it was too mm. much mutual. Mm. So everybody like, nigga, what's happening? Like, yeah. me and you. <laughs> then this nigga. Me and you. Me and you. But me and Carrie had so much respect for each other that 
even you know T was my man's. So they was about to bat. I'm like, I like, I can't, let, I can't let you do it. We gonna, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's fam to this day. It's like that's the type of, sh- that's what broke Cobb up for real. Mm. It was too much division mm. when it should have been all unity, you know. And it was like a lot of things that we sacrificed that niggas didn't know about. We we yeah. we got a tour with a lot of niggas just because where they felt like they was placed on a list at our open mic. Mm. You know, like, I got into it with the Smyrna boys about it. You know, like, you know, me and Eden yeah. talked about it and chopped it up about it. He didn't came to my concert. We didn't spread love and shit. But yeah. it was a moment he went on there and fuck Sean Teasy, man. Yeah. Fuck it. I had to go call him. Like, bro, we, we can't do this. Yeah. I know how you feel. You feel like he should put you on first because Cobb. Yeah. But, but that's putting on. That's what a nigga thinking. Yeah. A nigga like, wow, why you put on all these niggas from the east side, west side, south side, but the Cobb nigga going on last. And I was trying to tell T at the time. I said, bro, this not you kissing their ass, but... We gotta set a tone. We gotta yeah. put these niggas on at 1.30. Man, nah, we ain't gotta. I'm like, I'm like, bro, them niggas mm-hmm. now, now when them niggas wanna hit. Yeah, okay, they and, right and my made fam niggas not here tonight. Yeah. You gotta be careful. Yeah. Cause cause T, the niggas you went to school with in high school, they they not like that. Mm. You know, but 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 my niggas that I'm cool with, mm. that I them them niggas different. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas, my nigga Harold, June, Dorian, Bazel. Mm. I'm a, if anybody know Bazel and Cobb? <laughs> yeah. Don't nobody in Cobb want to fight Bazel. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, these niggas ain't there that night. Yeah. T, take it easy. Because we don't got niggas that they going to look at and respect on that yeah. side for you to... for you to. We don't owe them nothing. Cause they, I mean, I didn't really see them perform in too many other places before. For sure. But it's like, but they from Cobb, bro. Yeah. You got to keep it there. Yeah, but it, it was that. always a... It was tough for T because he had to decide. Yeah. Damn, nigga, I just had Shot Boys, Waka, it Travis Porter. Real. I was like, nigga, now you... It's eight, nine, ten niggas back on the list, nigga. I think that's almost an hour and a half. Nigga, go in there and do five mm. songs. Mm. Who the hell gonna t- Who the hell gonna tell Waka that you can't do the other three songs that ain't the hits? Nobody. Yeah. You not, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. So walk on that bitch for forty five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Fuck y'all gonna do? Nothing. Right. Sit there and watch. That's about it. It's Nothing. No show. <laughs> so, and I, and I'm gonna end it with this. And y'all don't know this timeline. The North Side died down again because I chose to stop. Mm. That's how you know I'm the goat around this motherfucker. Mm. I'm not saying I'm the king. Mm. I'm not saying I'm the president. Mm. I, don't, I don't care about those type of titles. But if, you, if this nigga gonna ask who put the North Side on, mm. it's, not, it's not even, you're gonna get the same answer every time. And if a nigga don't say my name, he a hoe. Mm. And they're not gonna say Sayari the kid, they're gonna tell you kid. Yeah. Cause they don't know me as Sayari. When Cobb died is because I chose for it to die. And they're never, no one in Cobb is gonna know how to bump this bitch back up but me. Mm. No nigga. You can't name another nigga. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I didn't say camp name because camp was after me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, camp is one of the, like, commercial success, camp is yeah. our goat. Yeah. Hit, hit for hit, camp got it. Okay. Not saying other niggas can't do hits. Got you know what I mean? You got your Mike Will, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but I'm saying, and these niggas is all the homies. You know what I'm saying? Sure, for sure. And, and I always, but you know, camp, comes after me, Pauls. Yeah. He's a younger nigga. He, when I was in 12th grade, he was in 9th grade. Mm-hmm. So it was like, our mama lived one light up from each other. Okay. And his elevation was gonna happen regardless. But you know, he was stuck on the club shit. I, I made Camp talk about his story. Mm. I made Camp, let's go in the studio and talk about the facts. You know what I'm saying? Let, let's, let's, let's see if you can rap on this type of beat. We know okay. you can sing, nigga. But I made him go in there and tell a story. I made Trapaholics put Workaholics on a top of live mixtapes when you couldn't get on the top unless you had 20 bands. Okay. When Kent was stuck on the indie side. And so was I for a minute till I met Dunk. And I said, Trap, I'm doing this shit called Workaholics. With Kent, I need you to put this shit on the top top. Mm. Um, my nigga need to, he, he's bigger than just, ah, I don't really know. But he's bigger than that. <laughs> Kent was really talented, but yeah. niggas didn't know because he wasn't doing it. Yeah. He wasn't showcasing it. But I was like, nah, we, we do this, bro. We finna rap. Like, I, ain't ta- I don't want to talk about the club right now. I want to talk about, like, mm. your dad went there and your mama had to grind this way. And can you, can you talk about that? I made him do that on songs, you know? And so it's like, those, those are the things, you know what I mean? Like, mm. that's how, you know, and then Kemp elevated into doing Money Baby. And, like, nigga, that, that nigga, that like, crazy. nigga, we started yeah. off in the same studio. We was at Music Box, like, yeah. with crumbs, nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Using my template, like. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like competing, like nigga, you got the hook today. I got the hook today. Me and Kent was goats with that. We going in, not even right. Like, yeah. so it's like, if you, if I don't name them, it's because they were younger. I got you. But when it kind of putting on, and don't even get me started with all the mixtapes, nigga. Like, yeah, I, I'm the only <laughs> nigga to do a mixtape called Children of the Corn, Volume One, Two, Three, yeah. and Four. Yeah, I put that bitch on every site, and it was that mixtape you had to be from Cobb to be on it. Uh. 
and I had every nigga from Cobb. Maybe Rick, the host, the host. That nigga one DJing nigga. Uh, that nigga one doing fucking tapes. I made him do a tape. Okay. Coming to my house, my nigga, my pops in the other room. Come yeah. yell real quick, nigga. I'm about to get you lit. <laughs> Everybody from Cobb. And guess, guess what niggas paid me for that tape? Donut. Guess who pressed that up? I did. Uh. Guess who had seven bitches in here? Hey, man, y'all put these shits in the sleeves, nigga, till you get a paper cut on your shit with your nails done. Me. Yeah. Who had a group of 25 to 30 girls? We did, nigga. Sunshine Angels. Not another nigga in Cobb had a group of girls. Mm. They were just sticking their dick and shit for free because they horny. <laughs> Me and T? No, we had, Armita, control these girls, bro. Hey, y'all ain't going in the club unless y'all got eye shirt on either. Yeah. Take that little cute shit off. That shit don't got an AM on it, you ain't coming in. 30 girls every night for with sure. us. You know what I'm saying? Like, n niggas know, bro. We done put some of them hoes in DJ booths, suck a nigga off and all type of shit. <laughs> don't get me started, niggas. <laughs> when Cobb died, I chose to stop. And it was only yeah. because me and T started beefing. Yeah. Not real beef. Yeah. But me and T fell off because it was already kind of going down. Mm. But I had chose mentally to be an artist. Mm. I don't even know if T remember this. Me and T still to this day could be back cool, cool, but he never said nothing to me. So I always took it personal. Mm. But... It, I did, but if niggas know Sabra, kid, I always did shit for everybody but me. And I was, well, you know how I used to dress, bro? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to the club with slippers on and mm -hmm. short, basketball mm -hmm. shorts. I yeah. could hoop, yeah. for real, like if I was at a club. Mm -hmm. Like, I never got fly. <laughs> if it wasn't my merch, I ain't put it on. I ain't yeah. care. Bro, niggas know I had them bitches, for real. Still yeah. dressing like a bum. Yeah. You know what I mean? I felt like I did so much for everybody at that time. And when it was time... I had a time where I was just like, I felt like a lot of people, start, they stopped liking T. Mm. He had got a deal. He, he, he was the first one to get a deal. He got a deal with Boo, who yeah. managed Kanye now. Uh -huh. He got that deal. Niggas don't know that deal. Boo only gave us six bands. Jeez. That's one shit. Like, he what? signed a Boo Vision. He, he, gave, he gave T $6,000. Keep in mind, this whole time, I was the one paying for all the studio, paying for my truck. Like, niggas mm. weren't pitching in for shit. Mm. T got that deal. Keep in mind, I ain't want nothing. Guess how much I got from that six, six grand? Hundred. Yes, give me a number. Undone. Give me a number. Donut. <laughs> I try to at least get one. <laughs> gave, me, gave me nothing, bro. That's crazy. Like, I didn't get a dollar from that deal. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And um, they goddamn dropped T. Stopped mm. talking to him. Like, they tried to push him for a little minute. We did the premonition mm. mixtape. They stopped pushing him. And uh, dunking him. They stopped fucking with T. But it was like, they weren't disrespecting him around me. But they, they was like, I don't want to do no shit with that nigga, man. He got yeah. a bad reputation. like that. So it was like, it turned into that. So... You know me, I don't really let niggas talk about my peoples. Mm -hmm. So it got to a point where I was like, cause Dunk had went, he had went on a song when I had stopped talking to Dunk for a minute and was mm -hmm. like, fuck Sean Teasy on the song. Oh shit. It's out there. Yeah. Uh. It's out there. Um, and I had to call Dunk and I was like, bro, we can't do this. Yeah. He's like, bro, I know you mad about some weird shit, but I need you to not do this though. Mm. Cause of my loyalty to it. Um, and I had a conversation with T one day. And uh, what made me stop fucking with T for real and drop, I dropped, I deleted arrogant music as a fucking. Everybody had a tattoo on them but me. Because mm. <laughs> I don't got, I don't do you tattoos. Do tattoos, yeah, yeah. You really got that, yeah. But um, it was a day I had talked to T and I was like, bro, I'm about to be an artist. Mm. And I was like, you remember what I used to tell niggas back then that you was the main nigga? I need everybody to wait. I was like, I need you to stop worrying about you for a minute and get mm. behind me. Like, cause, cause some of the connects we had, some of them by accident just knew T mm. outside in the city. Okay. Cause I, cause I forefronted him. Yeah. So when T would hit the stage, I never threw my name on shit unless you just knew my tag. Okay. So it, it was a couple people that kind of, you know what I mean? Cause we had pulled it, like ET and Nicks, they knew me. And like they, they, they were trying to be artists too at that time. So they was performing at the yeah. open mics too. Yeah. And so when we pulled the radio station to it, you gotta think at that time too, a lot of, that was the only way a lot of niggas got on the radio. We was the, we was the only niggas on radio five days a week. And on the mix show. Yeah. And we had the intro. I produced the intro and wrote the hook. Uh, that's hard. You know what I mean? So it was like when all y'all niggas was getting on the radio from Cobb, mm. that was through us. Because before you had to turn a CD in the Red Dread, uh -huh. we deleted that and made it be like if you won Battlegrounds, Monday, now yeah. you on the radio, on the top radio, one of the top joints in the nation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we, we created, we gave y'all that because of the leniency that E.T. and Nick's gave us. Mainly E.T. Because he was more like help us start it and let us put the Hot 107.9 on it. Okay, gotcha. So I'm telling T, I'm like, hey, bro, I'm about to be an artist, man. I need you to get behind me. He like, nah, bro. Mm. He like, nah, I feel like we could both do it. I'm like, I'm like, no. I said, bro, I need you to, I've been doing this shit with y'all niggas for almost half a decade, bro. Mm. It's, it's, it's my turn. And I just need you to get behind. He was fighting it. Mm. He was fighting it. And I had almost got a tour with a nigga. I ain't even going to say the name. Mm. 
I had almost got into it with a nigga because T did some weird shit. Mm. And I was about to, I, I almost was about to meet up with a nigga and fight this nigga because of something that he did. Oh, shit. Him and his cousin had some shit going on with somebody. And I felt like it was too many times I was about to fight a nigga for T, mm. for TZ. And I felt like something bad gonna happen, bro. Cause it was like, I always looked at it like this. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I'm gonna win this fight. Mm -mm. I'm gonna bat, bat this nigga to sleep. Mm. But it's like, it's for nothing. Yeah. Then it's like, I'm gonna I'm a fuck around and win, or maybe lose, maybe the nigga has some hands, who knows? Win, lose, or draw, right? Yeah. Niggas knew what my studio was. Oh, it's I, that I didn't like. Yeah. If there was one nigga in Cobb, you knew where he was, it was me. My shit was on the first floor with a glass window, <laughs> Yeah. and my truck was outside. So you could find me a hundred ways. <laughs> so, so, so that's why with me, I never really wanted to get into it with niggas. Cause I was like, if a nigga really wanna hate me at the end of the day, he yeah. gon' he gon' find me. That's why if you ever catch me, I united niggas. Like Camp Camp no Camp will tell y'all yeah, this. He didn't like collabing with niggas. Camp ain't fuck with niggas. Man, mm -hmm. man, you show, bro. Man, I don't, man, I don't even wanna. Camp was like to him. It's not that he didn't fuck with niggas. It's that Camp was a quiet nigga to himself. He was mm -hmm. just dope. So when I do like the North Side songs and all the niggas out, yeah, you like nigga, rest in peace, young. Something them, all these niggas that Teddy. died. I tapped in with Young Teddy, bro. I made us do that song. Blade, come over here and talk on this motherfucker. Everybody at Hurt Road, nigga, had the whole city over there. Everybody in Cobb was there. Yeah. Even niggas that don't fought each other and was beefing. I had everybody together, nigga. The, the niggas in Cobb that's running shit is me, Young Teddy, and K-Kim, because I said so. And this is the song, bro. And the song, the hook is called Northside. When them niggas was coming from Gwinnett on the other north side, they was collabing with me or T. It was only two niggas. When it was the whole disconnect of the Gwinnett, we yeah. made it. We made it that way to where, nah, nigga, y'all come and collab. Yeah. We, ain't on no, we ain't on no bullshit, because we done came and that and mobbed out there and performed. Y'all okay. come over here, bro, do a song with us. We did that. While everybody in Kyle was just, nah, we the real north side. We not doing that, nigga. No, y'all niggas come over here. Let's shoot a video on Franklin Road, because we ain't coming to y'all side, because we lit. Because yeah, we, we lit, nigga. Yeah, for sure. So y'all come out here, and we'll tap in with you. Yeah. So who else did that in Cobb, my nigga? Nobody. What Northside anthem you have out here? Mm -mm. Nobody. Nobody was doing that shit like, nigga. And when I chose to stop, it ended. And it won't never pop back up unless I decide to because I'm the only nigga that know how to sacrifice something bigger than himself. You know what I'm saying? When I go and I step and because I'll go to any club Lil Mike and Carrie doing. Bro, who? I don't see nobody hitting the stage dominating this shit. Yeah. Where he at? I mean, it could be, you know, you got, you know, uh, Youngin. Youngin dope. G. It's a hookah queen. It's a couple other niggas in Cobb I just collab with. It's like, but niggas don't know how to do it. You got to sacrifice everything. You got to be willing to say, I'm going to book the littest nigga. I'm going to go book honcho. But the only reason I'm going to book honcho is because I'm about to put Young Blifford on the stage yep. right before his ass. And, 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 and while honcho in his section, I'm putting Blifford in his section. Mm. I'm putting G in his section. And before we do the performances, and hey, y'all trade numbers and make sure y'all do a song. Or if it take a little ticket, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'll book you again for the next three shows, and we that's it's how you, yeah. my nigga, niggas don't get it though. That's how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Young and Arden, we done, we done had a bro. I think Young and the other big feature he got on his last joint was with the Rez, yeah. mm. right? That proud. He, I connected him with the Rez. The Rez got booked in Cobb on Franklin Road. Hey, the, the Rez, hey kid, I'm in your city. I'm on your side, my nigga. Pop out. All right, bro, I'll meet you there. Mm. I'm in there. Ash Youngin, he came to me. Derez was in the back of his section with his wife, with his, like, his baby moms and like other surrounded. Young came to me, hey, man, connect me with D-Bow real quick. You know what I'm saying? Connect me with Derez. Mm. Say less. Okay. Hey, Derez, hey, this is my nigga. He from, he, from, he from my side. Now they kick it. Because niggas don't have the power to do shit like this. Yeah. The last time Lucci came to Cobb, free my nigga Lucci. You know what I'm saying? The last time Lucci came to Cobb, he got booked on Franklin Road. They tried to book Lucci. You know what he said? You know what his manager told? Ask Fat Boy now. What is that? Man, shit, man, I ain't coming out there. That shit lame out there. That yeah. shit. He went, he tried to tell them niggas $30,000. Uh, 30 bins. Fat Boy. Fat check me. Yeah. Fat Boy hit me. Hey, man, them, them niggas taxing because he just saw I was with them at Patchwork. Because uh. I made him do a song. Not made him, but had him he do a song with Pacquiao. Yeah. And me and Lucci got a record together that I never put out. Mm. And you know, K, his brother, his big brother, that's my nigga. Okay. Me and K talk on a regular. We got like four or five songs together. Mm. You know what I mean? So, but, and, and, and his other brother. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So we all, his whole family, like I fuck with them. So Fat Boy hit me. I said, damn, for real, I didn't attach you what? Mm. 
So I hit um I hit K and I hit Lucian him. I said, hey bro. I said, fat boy, this is what we're gonna do. Book pack. Get packed like twenty five hundred dollars, mm. and I'm gonna tell Lucci it's our night, this our shit. So I need you to come yeah, to car. I said, Lucci, man, take fifteen real quick. Fifteen? Yeah, take take half, take half off that real quick. Mm. Come, come fuck with us. Pat gonna be there. He just was he just was fucking with Pat. Come through. Did it. Yeah. Did it just like that, nigga. Hey. Fifteen thousand. Yeah. Because I called and got something cut off by half. Yeah. Because I'm built like that. Yeah. That's y'all hard. niggas can't. Y'all niggas can't do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And guess what I got from it? Zero. Cause I, cause I, cause I could go get my own shit. Yeah. And these, until these niggas understand that and learn that, how to sacrifice that and create that unity, they'll never be able to put some shit on like me. Mm. They'll never be able to three three hundred Spartans do a three hundred Spartans or we. That was now. different. That now. was different. Come on, look that at every different. every one of them songs. It was four or five niggas on there from Cobb, mm. and I had the biggest niggas on there, from Migos to Waka. To all these niggas, every yeah. time I did songs and I got yeah. the biggest niggas in the city on there, I put niggas from Cobb on it. Yeah. To sneak them on there and say, do your thing. And niggas from Gwinnett. Mm-hmm. So that's why when I say when they're kind of putting on, I'm not comparing it to, I don't want to hear what a nigga did. In the, I don't want to talk. We're not comparing who the most street, who the most gangster, who, the, who did know, who put on is your question. Mm-hmm. And nobody put on for Cobb and never will like me, bro. And it's not gonna jump back up till I decide to, till I start seeing niggas with some unity. Yeah. Cause they don't know how to they don't know how to do this shit like me. It's too many niggas clashing about hoes and beefing about shit, nigga. Yeah. Ask see how many niggas he was beefing with about this girl. <laughs> I'm not gonna say her name. Yeah. It was it was a girl in Cobb, bro. This nigga clashed with like seven niggas about this one and she was bad. And she was at this like, time. She oh was yeah. For everybody. <laughs> I ain't gonna say shit for everybody. She just was doing what the niggas were doing. That's what I was Let, let's keep it gangster. Yeah. I mean, yeah. shit, you had hoes, so she had hoes. Yeah, that real. But the problem is, y'all all laying with her, telling her the same thing. Mm. And she telling the next nigga. And now he wanna see about you about it because he don't yeah. think you like that. Uh. So it was like, I got tired of that shit too. It was like, nigga, you know how me and Duncan, they they got cool, bro? Smashing the same bitches and high fiving about yeah. it. Yeah. Because we not them type of niggas. We not gonna get on here like NBA Young Boy and. And yeah. um finesse. and finesse, we not. I'm never gonna be that nigga doing that. Yeah, I'm not arguing about you because you like my girl pick, nigga. Yeah, that different. Nigga. Yeah, like we not doing none of that type of shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I just didn't like none of that. Everybody, yeah. you know, I'm Cobb in them days. Everybody was hitting the same joint. Yeah, yeah. It was it was just whoever had the wave that night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? If she was drunk, and you caught her walking out of Club Cali, and you happened to meet her there before T yeah. or Lil Mike or Carrie or Fetty saw her. Then you had her that night. For That's sure. how it was. Yeah. No, for it was sure. social media one. There wasn't no slide, no it DM, that, nigga. It, that, it was. Yeah, the Where the hell you finna go? <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> slump. <laughs> <laughs> you slump, bitch. You going with me tonight. It's Who the hell you with? And, and yeah. then some of the whole shit was so good, you fall in love. Yeah. And then, but then you got to think. She might be with somebody else Saturday. Now you hot broke. Now you saying something about it. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you weren't built like that, you like, man, why the hell you with that lame man, nigga, man? Right. And she just made love to y'all ass the night before. And you <laughs> can't deal that, with that. She in that blender. Oh, big boy. And some of them niggas couldn't handle that. We not yeah. going to get into it, but I know a lot of you niggas in Cobb. Yeah, y'all dude. niggas was wildin' for these bitches. <laughs> I know oh, the top sure. five bitches in Cobb. Top ten. <laughs> All ten of them. The baddest bitches in Cobb back then. No, we know who they sure. was, bro. No, for sure. Armita. <laughs> Stephanie. God damn. Look, Cookie. That's the one I was talking about. Cookie. Cookie was the... Dana. Cookie was that one. Dana... Steph, Armita, and fucking uh, who the other one was? I just said Stephanie, Cookie. I definitely Armita. know Stephanie. I know Cookie. I don't know the Armina. Who was the Dana, Armina? Dana, Armita. What school she went Armita to? Armita. She went to Osborne. She okay, ran to Sunshine Angels. Just like these were the baddest females yeah. in Kyle, bro. It was a couple other ones that was like up there too, but bro, them them five nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Them five was special. Yeah, they was. They was different. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as, like, beauty, like, yeah. on our side of town, like, yeah. them, them motherfuckers were bad. And they were freaky, too. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not, you know what I mean? Let's just keep it clear. Let's just keep it clear. You know what I mean? Freaky. I mean, but I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you why, I'm going to tell you why. I'm, no, 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 no. I'm going to tell you, I'm yeah, I, I, I grew up around a, a lot of my niggas. Mm. Shout out to my main fan. Them niggas were real pimps. Mm. Niggas was, so, I'm not, a, I never say certain shit about females, because, mm. Look what they got to accept to get with us. Mm. Th- think about it. Yeah. You got a girl right now? No, not right now. Okay. Say you settle down. Yeah. That girl got to live with the fact that you don't know your body count. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So 
I don't never really call. I call bitches hoes that lie about it. Mm. But if you prideful about it, like nah, nigga, yeah. you you doing this and that. Like I'm, that's some G shit to me though. No, I feel like a woman should get out of that game at some point, just like a nigga. Yeah, for sure. So I don't really get into like calling bitches hoes and shit too much unless they like you on some whole shit. Like you on some like you you in denial. You trying to act yeah, like yeah. a queen. But if you get in your bag, get in your bag. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If, if you like this nigga, but he got 12 hoes, fuck his mans. Mm -hmm. You hit your friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pass him along. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, so that, that it's like, shout out, to all, shout out to all them beautiful, lovely ladies. All, all the queens. All but a lot of them niggas are arguing about, I ain't going to say, all right, we're going to leave Armita out of that because she, you know, she's been in a committed relationship. But I'm saying all the other girls, everybody else, they was, they had niggas tweaking. Yeah, they they sure. was they was doing too much to these niggas, it to where fun. it turned into it, like Steph was probably the, one of the baddest motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. I started doing porn, mm -hmm. but like nigga know how I was about that shit, nigga. Mm -hmm. was, nigga, Steph love, Steph loved me more than anybody. Mm -hmm. I met her from fucking with T. Mm -hmm. She sucked T off. No, she sucked D off first. Go crazy. You know what I mean? D brung her around. She wasn't even going outside. She was mm -hmm. bad. She was Puerto Rican and black, so it was like. <laughs> and then you seen her. She had that walk. She had like her hair down on her ass. Her eyes mm -hmm. was like a cat. Mm -hmm. Steph was fucking bad, nigga. Nah, for sure. And she wasn't at no clubs, so she was clean, fresh. Listen, but like D brung her, D was like, nah, I got this bad motherfucker at Walmart. I'm like, man, bring her to the Angels. You know what I'm saying? First night after the first meeting, T getting head in the car. I'm like, damn, man, that shit look fire. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then, 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 then I'm chilling. She like, one night she just evaluated everybody like, man, I want your ass. Okay. Are you running the operation for real? <laughs> so I'm like, boss. come on, I need an assistant for real. She was doing everything. Cook, okay. Ed, cook. Drive, go pick up the merch, pack CDs, everything. Okay. Bad bitch doing all this shit. Mm. You know what I mean? But she had loved me though. She was mm. just causing too much drama. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be like that. So it was just like, but even at that time, I knew she knew I had bitches. So it was like, go on, go ahead. Like, you fucking with this? Like, nigga, hell, niggas just mm. like, you know, I just had to short it off. Like, I'm not tripping. Yeah. I just wanted her to tell me, like, on some G shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, for sure. <laughs> so, no, so, so now, 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 I kind of. You stupid, <laughs> yeah. You go too crazy. So yeah, how, so with the with the podcast, y'all 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 just started. How did that come about? How did y'all decide that y'all wanted to do do y'all podcast? I was it, it was weird to me because like he said, I always fuck with podcasts. Mm. I fuck with music and podcast, but like there's there's times where like I might be off music for a while. And I'll just be listening to pods, mm. but I always fuck mm. with podcasts, and I had always tell them about it. But like, I'll be real, I never felt like it was getting. Th through to you though, or making you want to mm. do one, pause. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then it was just like finally one day you was like, "Hey, we finna do this shit." And then I was like, "What?" And then didn't really think about it for a little bit. And then yeah. it was like, "Now nah, we really," you know what I'm saying? And then it just kind of happened. Because mm. yeah, I was supposed to do one with Tokyo first. Okay. Tokyo was the first person to ask me to do a podcast. Okay. Tokyo Vanity. Got you. That's that's the that's the game. Um, and she killed on the internet. She like yeah, yeah, that's yeah, real. She, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Funny. At that time, no, I just was like. I had my money invested in too many things, and I like to own my shit and be a boss. So it was like, I kept telling her, like, nah, I ain't really ready to get into that world for real. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, right when I was about to start it and decide it, after a couple people kept trying to ask me to do it, mm -hmm. um, I was just like, I doubled back about thinking to ask her, but it was like she had just told me she was doing hers. Okay. Dolo. Mm -hmm. Because I was bullshitting for real. <laughs> yeah, you was. And then I, and so I, and I kept that in my head. And then I was always just like, you know what? I could call anybody to be a, a guest on my shit for. I could probably get anybody that's lit right now. But I'm like, you know what? I like doing my shit from the ground up. I love working with motherfuckers that don't nobody know or believe in yet. So I was like, you know, I felt like he needed the opportunity um, just to be transparent with y'all. Like he oh my lack executing his ideas mm. with his feet. That's and cool. I feel like him being around me, um, being that big brother around him is like, if somebody going to challenge this nigga, it's me. Mm. So and and I and I had to, I, it's still things we could work on and improve me and him as well, but it's like I I told him I said bro, just different mm. like working with me bro like I'm gonna hold you accountable like yeah. and, and I'm a I'm a I'm a fix some shit if I need to nigga and, like meet me because that was me challenging my homie like yo we're gonna do this shit for real I'm gonna go yeah. get all the equipment you know what I'm saying shout out to my nigga Dante Antonio he told me where to get all the equipment. For you know sure. what I mean? I went to Broadcast Hub. Because really what mainly inspired me, what niggas don't know is, we went to Philly. Mm. <laughs> that was the time when in my head, I took a picture. Mm. I went to Philly to shoot a video with Freeway, and Gilly came out there. He okay. drove to the shoot. and was like, I got you, little homie. Bought us all Phillies and shit. And he took us to him and Wallow podcast building before they finished it. Okay. Facts. You know what I mean? And he was walking me through, like, nephew, like this, what we put in this room. And their main room was little as hell, smaller mm. than this. Mm. Not even designed. Mm. Not even decorated. Facts. And they had four cameras 
He was like, yeah, this is all we use. Just a camera. Like, he was giving me the game. Mm. Million dollars worth of game. Yeah, for sure. He was like, yeah, I'll check it out, man. Like, you know what I mean? I snapshot that setup. And that's exactly what I did. Okay. So, Gilly, it's always different for me when I see a nigga from where, where I'm type of from. Not saying I'm from Philly, but yeah, yeah. A, a, just a nigga that's from nothing. Mm-hmm. When I see him talking to me, it's different than another nigga from the Burbs telling me to do a podcast and showing me. It's like it might go in one ear out the other. It's something about... Like when I met when I meet like mm. dump or I met trouble, it's like when I meet certain niggas, the convo be different. It's like I can't explain it. It's like it's like they make me listen different. They make me go like, okay, hold on, okay. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like Gilly, one of them niggas for me, I look at like a big homie. It's like he, mm. he's one of the niggas. You know, like when you say you go to a, a city and you check in. Yeah. Like it's only one nigga I check in when I go to fucking like Houston. Yeah. Straight to truth. Yeah. He the only nigga that makes sure I'm good, whether he there or not. Mm. He's the only nigga I'll call and he will send his brother to make sure I'm straight. Mm. No, I ain't there, but I'm a tone on his way. Like For sure, that's he, he's that nigga. And when when I when he is there, he he fuck with me. So Gilly, I only checked in with three niggas when I went to Philly. Mm. Freeway, well shot the lights, but he's not a big homie. Freeway, Gilly, and Walla. Walla was like, I'm not there right now. Mm. Gilly was like, let me know where y'all shooting at. And mm. right when I was about to send the address, Freeway had already told him. Mm. It was already tapped in. That's crazy. So he pulled up Dolo. Fuck with me in the middle of the street. So it was like those, and then drove us there, and then we lost our camera at his studio. He woke up in the middle of the morning and he Ubered it to us. Uh, so it was hard. like, Gilly yeah. showing me the room is what made me say, I have to have at least this many cameras, uh. this many mics, <laughs> okay. this mic, this black magic camera. Yeah. Like he showed me. Yeah. And so I know everybody went in there and looked, but I was in there like, I'm about to, you know what I mean? Uh. Facts. And that so that, 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 that inspired me. Mm. Gilly, Gilly gave me the sense of normalization, knowing mm. that when I'm on the internet, he bigger than he bigger than big. But it's like in front of him, he, you know what I mean. My son was, I took my son to Philly and shit, took a picture with my little man, talked yeah. to us for three hours off camera, trading blunts. You know what I mean? Facts. Like getting up out of his bed while he would toot. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because we made a mistake and went to the Bronx and left the camera an hour and a half away. <laughs> Facts. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Gilly doing those type of things is what elevate me to. Say, I, I got to do this because it's some real niggas in this shit left doing it. You know what I mean? That's hard. And, That's and hard. walked us backstage when we came to his podcast. I, him and Wallow did they shit. They, they let us come through too. You know what I mean? So I always look at Gilly as inspiration to do the podcast for real. Because, mm. oh, no. It's, if, if, if I decide to do something... <laughs> It's ha- that's why I got to be careful with my words. Because mm. I did everything I said. Yeah, that shit manifest. You know what yeah. I mean? And so it's like, I want to be able to bring all these type of things. And it's a documentary I'm about to work on for Cobb. You know what I mean? Mm. But I got to do it with the street niggas. You know what mm. I mean? I got to make sure that everybody available. Mm. And the nigga from Gwinnett's, so I want to do a North to North joint. I want to I wanna, I wanna do a whole Atlanta joint, but mm. I want to walk. I'm, I'm mad. Scoob not here, so he to walk me through the bluff for real. But yeah. it's like, I want to do those type of things where, because it ain't no nobody could do it besides me. Mm. No, but no, it's not even possible. You know what I mean, so uh, stop asking that shit. Hey, <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all heard it here. I told you how to. I told you how to say it. Just no, no, I'm just saying. Name, how, I'm saying my how, name how you, has to be in the situation. How you explained it in comparison to everyone else? You know what I'm saying? It makes more sense. Yeah, I mean, it's just a lot of niggas is uninformed on stuff. Mm. That's all, bro. Uh, you know. Niggas uninformed because they didn't have to walk through it. Yeah, you know what I mean. If you ain't walk through it, it's like if you ain't sacrificed and been seen all the. Shit, from the women to the niggas is like you're not really gonna know, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But the niggas I name, carrying a little mic, I say carry a little mic and blade. They know a lot of shit, and they are the niggas that could call. Yeah, you know what I mean? Blade hit me for something, I do it. You know what I'm saying? But I just I need unity, dog. I need I need unity. Mm-hmm. Like I, who who killing the cop right now? You know what I'm saying? But that's mm-hmm. why on my podcast I try to. So I, w- I want to have episode where I bring motherfuckers on, but it just got to make sense. You know what I mean? It got to make sense because niggas ain't appreciated while I had it here. Mm. Wow, why the fuck y'all clashing? Mm. Look what I did, nigga. Mm. Now, now y'all can't do- book somebody and get the full price. Yeah, so you want yeah. half off or free? Call me. <laughs> <laughs> Call me because a nigga going to tap in with me because I got 12 favors in with every nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got, fav- I got favors in with niggas. Niggas that done did some shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas ain't stood in front of these niggas and got respect. Mm. Niggas don't respect y'all. It ain't even a fair thing. It's like niggas choose fool wisely. Yeah. You know what I mean? Niggas choose their battles. I never did that with Cobb because it was always us against everybody else. Mm. You know what I mean? I had to go out here knowing that this nigga think I'm lame. If yeah. I say this on this stage, 
he's going to think I'm a cornball. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, I, and I'm willing to tell a nigga if it go there. But I felt like niggas looked at me a certain way and was like, it's something official about homie. Not nothing. I'm not, not on no gangster shit. It's just it's something about him that's just, mm. he's looking me in my eyes. He's making sure, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? If, if I knew you was that nigga at, on the west side and I saw you at Crucial, I'm coming to you. Mm. What's up, fam? Yo, love what you do, brother. Hey, yo, yo, that shit fire. I'm looking at him like this, though. I'm not like this. Yeah. I'm like, right. yo, that shit fire, my nigga. Facts. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we got to connect. Like, let's work. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm in a nigga's room. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, yo, yo, your big, your big homie, that's my man. A- ask him about me. Yeah. Oh, kid? Oh, nah, that nigga solid. Mm. Oh, we got to work. You know what I mean? Because you can't duck that. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I, I either, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you can't duck that. It's like a nigga got to, like, all the, it's always going to be a solid nigga, OG, or a female, that connects shit. That's how me in school go. You didn't even know that. He used to drive. He was driving for school, mm. my sprinter. Fucking my sprinter up. Crazy, me and school connected. <laughs> Do a girl. Uh. He DM me and was like, man, my hoes keep playing your shit. We gotta do one. Yeah. We did one at camp studio. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's how that happened. That's the You know what I'm saying? Pussy. And so that, you know what I'm saying? Campus, that's me booking my brother's shit. When I helped camp get that studio, I facilitated him a deal before. Behind the scenes. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Niggas don't talk about it, but that's just the true story. Yo. I facilitated him a big, big deal that he he probably wouldn't have known how to finesse if I ain't put him on the game. Mm. You know what I mean? But it's like niggas don't niggas don't know that. Like, so that's what it takes. You know what I mean? It's like we ain't suckers. If I was a sucker nigga, I could never get that with Dunk. I could never get Dunk to me, introduce me to Trapper Hollis to mm-hmm. put me and Camp on the front a lot of mixtapes. I could never get school to know about this and because it came from bitches. It came from we not school was a fucking G, nigga. Yeah. It don't get more G than that with him. He called bitches snacks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Snacks. Hey, he, he like, hey though, yeah. we gotta though, we gotta get one in. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Let's, let's get it. And he, he had a big ass house, but you know what his meetup spot was for the sprinter? The bluff. Mm. So that's where we had to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's where we had to go. Yeah. Niggas outside and with 30 churches. sticks, yeah. rolling dice, niggas sagging, smoking weed. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, <laughs> are you willing to go through that? Facts. Nah, y'all niggas are shook. Yeah. It be like y'all that. niggas shook, man. Y'all niggas not prepared to sit there in the trenches, nigga. Y'all not prepared to do that. It's, it's easy in your hood. You know what I mean? It's easy in your hood. Mm-hmm. It's easy to rep the hood in your hood. Yeah. Nigga, rep that shit on another nigga block. Then I'm going to respect you. Make another nigga who run his block tap in with you when you come to his city. No, that, no, then you that real. nigga. Yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? That's real. No, that's all right. For sure, for sure. So that's all, I, that's all I'm saying, to nigga. When I go home to the Bronx, niggas know, Poppy know, in my, on my corner store, that give us free sandwiches when we go, because I still go back home. I put my sprinter right in the front on the corner of 158. Not on no tough shit, but that's what I do. He know, nigga, that's, mm. that's that side coming out of there. His family's still out here. Like, he, I'm still good. It's a reason for that. It's a reason I can still take the, a, a picture with the owner, Ali. Shout out to Ali on 158 mm. in the Bronx. Five. Niggas ain't doing that. You niggas stupid. You niggas ain't outside, my nigga. So it's like, I don't know. I'm putting on, and, and I have the power and the wisdom to do it. You niggas ain't never put nobody on to be asked that question. You know what I mean? Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean? It makes sense. That was a loud ass, yeah, you know I mean? It makes sense. Mean, sense. <laughs> niggas, ain't, niggas ain't lost enough shit to be time, blood, sweat, and tears, man. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? I sacrificed too much for this shit, bro, to have that question asked to somebody else. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I used to be humble about that shit. Mm. I ain't humble about that shit no more, niggas. Me. And I, I love that niggas do say it, though. Because niggas know. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas know. Just make sure when you catch more Cobb niggas in here, and if you ask niggas what, what, what it's going to take to put Cobb back on, me, I'm the only nigga that could do it. I promise you. Because yeah. I'm the only nigga cool with everybody. And, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if, if, y- if niggas really want to do it, I have to be at a meeting with everybody mm. to tell them this is how we're going to do it. You want to do it? You want to put Cobb back on? That's what it's going to take. Yeah. We need you, bro. I'm the spokesperson. Take, Come on, we need, we, we need salary to it's bring, take, you know what I'm saying? It's going to take that. Put it together. And Call it's easy, forces. though. Come bro, on. it's so easy. So we got a lot of talent. A lot of talent. And y'all Come got that. We got the niggas yeah. that's in the... Bro, all you need is a building. Mm-hmm. Like, carrying them and Lil Mike and them still having that wave is the blueprint. Mm. So that's how you finesse everything. And, and then the, the, the killer of it is the music side. The, the music side is making sure that the nigga that we building up 
it's collabing with everybody. The only thing was they didn't know how I was doing that. They didn't know I had T had a song with every nigga in the city. It wasn't a, it wasn't a nigga that was hot that TZ didn't have a song with. Yeah. I made sure of that. And we never paid a single nigga for a feature. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I, and, I, and I could me and T went through that. So that's always some respect that I give T. He know how I got my studio nigga. We ain't had no big homie. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it was 7 years past. And now I can tell you. But we we robbed the store. <laughs> we robbed the store, mm. bro. Cause we ain't, we, I ain't have it all yet. Like not for that type of money. Mm. Like I had to. I don't know. If you remember when the Control Twenty Four board was in, in the That's studio? The I was the only boy. nigga with, a, with the, the big, big boy. boy. Yeah, that bitch was fifteen bands. <laughs> and then the Numa U eighty seven, all that shit I had in my. I had to. I was the only nigga with all that equipment in my studio. You you wanted that shit quality mm. on your shit. You had to come to my studio. Mm. You know what I mean? And T Z know what we did. We had we had a plug and we robbed the store, and we did that shit like mm. nigga. We sent. See you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You was using the board like that. Yeah, you know but it, it was. It's not about a remote controller. Oh, you yeah. don't even need it. It's yeah, just that. But, but it just looks like that when it just niggas, look. Yeah. When you know when Eldorado Red and all these niggas that got the that got real money, like not the street niggas saying they street niggas. I'm talking about street niggas with real money. Right. Nigga walking around with fifty bands on them and spending it on me on my beats and my shit right now. Yeah. I'm talking about real niggas getting money. Mm. You know what I mean? When they come in there and he like, oh, I like this studio. When Dunk come in there, he like, oh, I don't, the shit he usually at, he like, this shit terrible. I'm in the right. closet. That bitch got a desk. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's like me and T had to go rob some shit to get this shit going. It's like, y'all don't know what niggas went through to have a whole city at my studio. Right. I almost got locked up for this. N niggas don't get that, though. Right. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. niggas almost got locked up to get all, because we I had money, but mm. not that, not that, like, that, yeah. I could at that time, as a young nigga, I couldn't spend 20, 30,000 out the pocket just off the rip off of something I believe in. Yeah. Mm. So we yeah. had to take that shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And I never told no, I never told nobody the story. Mm. Teasy know though. Teasy know how we got my, my studio shit cracking. Rob some shit, mm. nigga. <laughs> and T know I was stealing for seven years straight. Yeah, So some cops sold it to my mama. That's the only reason I stopped stealing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I, nigga, I was the nigga, you couldn't stop me from taking some shit. Cause I, cause we ain't had no who, who I'm gonna get it from. You know what I'm saying? It's like we had to figure it out, bro. Whatever yeah, that shit, I just didn't take from people. But you was a story, you was getting got. Oh, right. Gas. You remember when you could pump first? Come on yeah. now. I don't, on now. Know, I don't even know that why that was the thing. <laughs> right. Right. Quick trip. <laughs> Come on. Cover the license plate with a fucking bounty napkin. That was too much. Stress. I was out of there. It was I was clocking cars, nigga. I was I was doing it for people. They were so scared. Okay. Bro, niggas, no, bro. Ask Lou and Harold on them niggas, bro. I used to have seven cars at, at gas stations. So, hey, come with me at this time, bro. This okay. is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna feel and you. We're, but, man, we was killing. I, I think we the reason that shit stopped. <laughs> I had, I was having hey, all of us, bro. Bring your card this time, yeah. cause you know what niggas was doing. Niggas was doing to get the cards. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, give me, give me fifty dollars, and we'll do the. You know what I'm saying? Give yeah, me fifty dollars. I give you twenty. I, I, I'll give you a hundred dollar gas card. Yeah. Nah, nigga, I give me zero, <laughs> and we gonna, and we gonna get eighty dollars worth of gas. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, can't beat that. <laughs> nigga, there wasn't nobody doing that shit like me, nigga. I used, I used to do that shit all. I had days where I did that all day. That's crazy. <laughs> Give me a dub, bro. I go fill your shit up. I'll be right back. Yeah. For real. So would. That ain't Walmart, bro. <laughs> nigga, talking about sneaking shit in the uh, in the checkout, in the self checkout. Nigga, we ain't at no self checkout, nigga. We, we rolling this bitch line, out. Right. Cause Miss Martha at the exit, she not gonna buck on shit. I'm rolling this cart past her. Yeah. That's how we used to get it for real. T no. All the snacks I was selling in my studios, I stole. You know what I'm saying? That was the joke, though. Get the bags and walk in around and shop, put it in the bags. Then when you leave, mm -hmm. you just leave. Act like you paid by the fucking entertainment the system. Yep. <laughs> June, no, June, all my shit in the studio, bro. Full time, June. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We all grown now, so we got it's seven yeah. years, so I can talk about it. But that, these are stories I never told nobody. Because we had to be that, we had to do this every day to survive, mm -hmm. dog. Because nobody gave us nothing. It was like, then once I start hustling outside, it was like, oh, now what's up? Now we got a bag. Now, now the bag gonna come. I started making money. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. iTunes started. Streaming ain't hit yet, but it was like, once that came now, but I, I always kept me a little around 40, 50 grand. Like, that was a lot to a young nigga back then. Mm -hmm. I was one of them niggas that could make 40 to 100 on his own. That was my line. I was like the only first nigga to make 100,000 on Windy Hill. Like, that was like my line. Mm -hmm. Like, but, th but nobody else had that back then. You know what I'm saying? When no young nigga, when no young niggas 21, 22, you know what I'm saying? With a hundred thousand, like buying his truck and putting rims on it and on, on the studio yeah. that costs seventeen hundred a month, and nigga wasn't doing that. 
printing up 20,000 mixtapes every time you drop, knowing you wasn't making no money off of it. <laughs> <laughs> Dig what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So it was like, I did all of that shit to bring it back to Cobb. All these other niggas in Cobb, no shade. They wasn't trying to, br- they might say Cobb or say Northside, but it's like, are you willing to step back while this nigga get the light? Mm. Are you willing to do that? If you not, my nigga, you not ever going to be able to compete with me. Because you're never going to put a person before yourself. You, at some point, you're going to want to be that nigga. You're going to want to be the nigga. That's what everybody wants. That's what just, I mean, it's all about the light for these niggas. And it's like, they're not comfortable in their own shoes because it's always something that it looked like something that it really ain't. You niggas ain't really getting no money. Let's keep it a buck. And that's why it's hard to put on because you got to have something. You got to be able to really get it out the, out the mud mm-hmm. or you got to have a bag or somebody with a bag. You know what I mean? It's easy to say some street shit, but it's like, niggas, you really getting money in the street. <laughs> you wouldn't be in the streets no more. I just don't look at niggas. All the niggas that claim street nigga shit, if, you don't, if you're not making good money in the street and bringing something back good to your community, when I rep Cobb, I own a house in Cobb. I own property in Cobb. I could do that. You know what I mean? I was the first nigga with a billboard in Cobb on Windy Hill before the battery took it over and don't let you book it out no more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I had my shit here. We ran the biggest open mic in Atlanta history, ever. Yes, that means we were bigger than ATL Record Pool. We ran the biggest open mic in Atlanta history, mm. ever. It's, no, it's not even close. Pop it. Not even close. There wasn't no other open mic bigger than that. Even with what Crucial was doing, it wasn't fucking with that because they, they, weren't, they weren't fucking with everybody for free like we were. We sacrificed finances. Mm. Niggas not willing to lose money. It's all about money for niggas. Right. Everything ain't about money when the bigger picture is this. Okay, it's like, nah, fuck that little bread. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we probably can make four or five thousand a night. But that reputation, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like niggas self-made niggas look at you different when you make a bag together. Like Rada used to hit me, like, yo, how you do that? How you set up this on Atu? Cause I giving them game. Mm. You know what I mean? Lucci could never look at me like, well, I ain't from his side. He like, nah, I'm always gonna look at Sal like an official nigga, but in the back of my head, I made 15 bands with this nigga. Mm. And more, actually. Mm. On some other shit. Yeah. But he always gonna be like, I can't look at him because he never did no lame shit. And I made money with this nigga. Yeah. That money probably went toward his lawyer that he been needing. Yeah, that's real though. I put 15 in your pocket, Lucci. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it take though. It's mm-hmm. like, if you niggas ain't connecting dot niggas looking at y'all niggas from Cobb, they're not respecting niggas. Mm. Yeah, just the mic. The mic wire. My bad. They, 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 they just not respecting niggas. And like I said, we could put the Cobb shit together. I'm down to do it. But it's like, niggas got to understand and be humble to it. And it's like, nobody could do it like me. Mm. Ain't not going to be able to do it. There you <laughs> go. So I'm telling you. <laughs> there it's going to take TZ too, man. Like, Shout out to TZ, man. It's going to take TZ too. Like, I always pray for T. I don't, know, mm. I don't know if he ever knew that. All I ever wanted from TZ was an apology, dog. Mm. I just wanted him to say, man, sorry, bro. I wasn't focused. Mm. You know what I mean? My, all, my baby mothers and my girl was... Had me distracted, you mm. know what I mean? I wasn't good. I wasn't smart with the money when you was telling me save up for this, pitching for that. Mm. You know what I mean? I lost. I didn't lose love for niggas, but I lost respect. Yeah, it's different. You yeah. know what I mean? I lost respect for T as a man because mm. of the decisions that I thought he was making mm. for something that he know I'm not going nowhere. I'm. You know me. I'm reliable for this. Yeah. So it was like that ruined the north side though, because like once me and T. Like radio, nigga, when the Dirty Boys broke up. It's like, uh, radio yeah. ain't the same no more. I don't no. care if you go to, I don't care where you go. Because, yeah. you know, the OG, he done. You know, Greg yeah. Street, he don't really yeah, care. Yeah, he yeah, he, yeah. he, 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 he the pioneer. Yeah, right. But it's like, what hurt the A was shit, like the the the, the camaraderie that Jay Nix and E.T. had mm-hmm. in, in the way that they changed Atlanta. Mm-hmm. We don't have nobody doing that now. Everybody just go and do they set from 6 to 10 and from 2 to 6, and it's like, that ain't enough. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, like, in the city me too. and T splitting like that. And niggas just never looked at me and gave me enough. We see each other in Dap and everything. Mm. Never was, hey, bro, I'm proud of you. Mm. I see what you're doing. Nigga never said none of this to me. Mm. I'm sorry, bro. I fucked up. You was focused always. Mm. always. I made my mistakes, but I was always locked in. Mm. I was always up ready for the task. Always had the money that it took to pay for certain things. You know, it was six niggas' faces on my truck. Mm. Why only mm. one nigga paying the rent? Mm. Why only one nigga put gas in the car every time we go somewhere? Mm. You know what I mean? A nigga never came to me and was just like, bro, I'm sorry, bro. You believed it. And I took it for granted. We had too many bitches, too much shine. And I just I just thought it would never leave. And it did. It did. Because once I turn my back and don't put that shit behind you, what you going to do? You ain't got no structure. Mm. You 
you can't pull up like you can't pull up right. Niggas ain't gonna think you get no you can't rap by getting no money now. Yeah. Cause getting money was the motto. Yeah. That was the song. That was the song. <laughs> that, that, that we did in my fucking closet at my mama house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which hook I fucking helped them with. So you know I think I think I think uh now that time has passed and I think everybody has like mature, I think it's I think it's just, you know, I think y'all could y'all could settle it, you know what I'm saying? But why I gotta say that though? No, not, not you. you know what I'm saying? I, I, I think he, he has like, realized. like, why, why he, I got to say Because, nigga, I'm doing my thing. He I took accountability yeah. while he was here. And he was saying he 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 was part of some of the, the issue. You know what I'm saying? That he that, he so was the issue. He's That's what he said. He did say that. So I think it's just it time to both of y'all just come through. If y- y'all yeah. got history. So just have a just conversation. Just take a man-to-man conversation. Yeah, that's you all know what I mean? Did. Yeah. Too many people on our team just started getting mad at T. Mm. They love me to death. Mm. But it was like they they felt like he just did too much stuff that wasn't solid. Yeah, it was too hard to keep. We had meetings, niggas about to fight, but I, I was trying to stick. I was trying to stick with him. You know what I mean? I just once it came to, once I finally asked, you know, you know, you know that nigga that always give and never ask for nothing. Mm. And you fuck around, pop a question one day, and they say no. Yeah, mm. you looking at them crazy. Just, just man, I'm 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 a, I'm a G, but that hurt. Mm. Just be honest with you, but. In real time, I looked at him and was just like going back and forth. But when I got home, it settled. Mm. And I was like, wake up, Sai. These niggas won't do nothing for you. Mm. And that made me cold. Because you got to think, Dunk already died. So my heart already cold. Mm. I, just, I just lost a nigga I did everything for out of my power. You know what I mean? So my, 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 my little bro just got murdered. Right when I just talked to him. And we wasn't on really, really great terms. Mm. A lot of shit, shit niggas don't know about that too. Me and Dunk wasn't on the best terms at the time. I ain't like how I ain't like how he was moving. Mm. You know what I mean? And me telling Dunk that we never had to have Dunk was one of those niggas you had to get him face to face. Yeah, because he just think too much and he crazy and it's like. But I I had told him one day I was like, Yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I feel like I feel like shit ain't the same. You know what I mean? And by the time he came back down, because he had a show in like Pittsburgh or some shit, like he was just getting around Gucci though. Mm. He was just getting around. Wop had bought him like an orange vet. Like Dunk was like, okay, this is what we yeah. pray. That's all Dunk ever wanted was for Gucci to stamp him. You know, and it took so long for us to grind for Gucci to make that call. Mm. You know what I mean? And that, that that was like getting a you know how like a mob nigga get made yeah. onto room and get made like yeah. about to get made today. Getting that call from Wop was like that. It was like yo Gucci call nigga. Uh. You know what I'm saying? And what Gucci wanted from Dunk was he said bring bring all your songs. I want to finally do a song with you. So Dunk hype. Who you think he come to? Mm. Nah. Not nobody else. Not no other Brick Squad producers. No me. Mm. Hey, I need a record, nigga. So he he what he did was t- he did a song called Twitter that where he was talking about the CTE shit. Mm. And so he, Dunk played him all the songs, and the song he picked was the song I produced. Mm. I wrote that hook too to Twitter that mm. gangsters don't Twitter. He was talking about all the niggas who's beefing with on CTE. Mm. And the first song that Gucci picked mm. was Twitter that. That was this is a KID production. I made the beat, did the hook. And they shot that video in the hallway at Patrick with Figurati, who I found. White yeah. boy, who shot the To The Max video. Oh, I found yeah, Figs. <laughs> I found Figs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, me going through all that with Dunk, I feel like the bigger he got, the more we got disconnected. And that hurt. Uh. And then him dying, I never got to mend it, mend that with him. Mm. I, you know what I mean? It was too many niggas putting shit in his head. You know what I mean? I, I, thought that, I thought that he was listening to it, knowing that he knew me and my character. Yeah. You know? So it was just like, when it come to shit like that, bro... When it was time for T, it was like, I'm I'm too cold right now. Mm. I'm too cold for this moment to happen. I'm not you're not gonna survive this. Mm. He ain't know that though. Bro, I probably never seen that nigga again after that. That's crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was like, bro, if I ask anybody a favor, bro, give it to me. Yeah. Give it to me, bro, because I did too much. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't never gonna ask you for shit because I don't need nothing. But I felt like I still didn't need it, because clearly I didn't. Mm. But it was like I felt like me and T could have killed if he went to ma- not manage me, but just just, just hit the road, manage your role, roll yeah, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Cause you got the footwork, you just don't got the structure or the, or the wisdom or the stability. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's all it's gonna take. You know what I mean? Just look a nigga. And I'm not saying we're gonna cre- create arrogant music again, but we could do something where we might hit the stage again and yeah. do something more. We might do the north side something. Gotta and put then, something together. And then me and you sit in the room and connect. I'm down to do that, but niggas gotta holler at me. Yeah. Cause cause sure. I deserve that. No, no. Yeah. I feel that. I think. Am I, I wrong, bro? No, I don't no, think. No. I don't think. I don't think you're wrong. I think. I think y'all both on the on on the same page. I think y'all both want the same thing. You feel what I'm well, saying? Yeah. I mean. So 
But it's harder on my end though, cause I, I got shit it. shaking. I feel it. It's I different. don't gotta do this. Do this, yeah. I feel no, it. That's not shade the T. I'm just I being transparent. It. I understand. You it. know what I mean? I don't know what he's doing there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've always prayed to see him. I yo yo I, I yo. I've had dreams of like yo T doing this thing, and me call him like yo. Remember I used to tell you. Remember, mm. remember, remember, bro. Like, don't you fucked up on this? Like, go back mm. to this. Mm. I ain't been able to though, cause he ain't really been able to pop his wave because yeah. T don't got structure. Yeah. But T was always that nigga. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Do do this. You know what I mean? I was always. Everybody know that. I've been that. I've been the nigga behind the scene. Like, nah, 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 nah. Don't say. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can't T like, hey, don't niggas know? Yeah. Like, I I used to make a nigga chain the smallest line. Yeah. Nigga be in the booth and go. Hey man, I'm trying to. Let me might say a line like, "I pull up in the Lambo on Windy Hill." I'll be like, "Change that. You don't have that car." <laughs> this is what we gonna say. This is what you wanna say. I'm trying to pull up in the Lambo on Windy Hill. Mm. Small shit like that that yeah. niggas didn't understand. I was like, because at the end of the day, niggas have to respect you. Yeah. If, if this don't turn into a hit, all you have is respect. Right. So so on on this song, you gotta talk about what's real, especially with me. Yeah. So I'm the nigga that had niggas doing that. Mm. You know what I mean? Hey, yo, yo, when you perform, when you hit the stage right here, they not really paying attention over here. Mob in front of them. Mm. Yo, these sad bitches right here, they 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 they, they like it. They they energize. Go crazy with we, them. We, 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 we tapped in with them. This yeah. judge right here, they they be on their phone. Stand on stand on this table, T. Mm. Like walk over the table. Like, why are you performing? Because nobody left the stage yet. Mm. Th those are the conversations we had. That's how we killed. You know what I mean? So it's just. I've been wanting to see T. It's like I just seen him doing it. I'm like when I see T hosting this shit, I be pissed. Mm. He he asked TZ, bro. I'm the first nigga to tell him stop fucking hosting. Mm. And you're a great host. Yeah. I ask him. Yeah. T got his deal and was still hosting in Cobb. Mm. I said, bro, niggas can find you. Yeah. You gotta be unaccessible right now. I need the money, bro. Fuck that money. Mm. He ain't get it. You just signed a fucking boo, nigga. Why are you? Why? Why can I come to the? You know? What I mean? <clears throat> huh? No, you good. I'm saying, why can I go to a club every Thursday and see mm. you? Mm. If you that nigga. Yeah. He didn't get it. He was always about the little crumbs because he never made no real paper. Yeah. That's why when that little six bands came, he ain't, he ain't break bread. Yeah. Which I ain't care, but it's like nigga, I really should have took that six. Yeah. If you if you want to go about it, you know what I mean. I really should take that six and put it back in our shit. Yeah. But it's like that's what I'm saying, bro. It's like we there. We there. Hey, you feel me? But be before we get up out of here, let yeah. the people know where um they can find you at and um when they can expect new episodes of the show. That's another thing I stopped doing. I'm outside. <laughs> I'm not giving you niggas nothing. Like <laughs> I I'm outside, and if you're not outside, I don't want you to find me. Yeah. No, go ahead and give me social media like a queer. I was gonna say shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should let you go. <laughs> All right. That's crazy. <laughs> nah, but my name, man, my name ring bells. Like, search my name anywhere, bro. It's gonna pull up. Like, you know what I mean? I don't really got. I I, I love that drop, by the way. Somewhere you can find. I'm outside, bro. There you, you go. Know what I'm saying. And and where they can find a new podcast, though. Um, uh, I mean, it's all it's all on my social media, but you know, the sorry not sorry show. Y'all tune in. Okay. Tap in, man. We just finished season one. So season two about to be crazy. I'm about to call in favors. Okay. And we're going to up the scoring, niggas. Yeah. And we already killing. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. already had two viral clips. And that, that's all you want each season is like you set criteria. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all y'all trying to build and know how to execute. Post mm -hmm. two times a day. Mm -hmm. Get certain guests. You know what I mean? Curb certain questions. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. we out there. We doing our thing. I got a concert May 18th, too, at okay. Center Stage. Me and Derez Deshaun, we headlining. Pop that shit. So, so I, what I'm about to make this is some like north side, south side shit. You know what I yeah. mean? Some Civil War shit. We all north side, south side gonna hit the stage and we gonna mob. Like I said, it's what it take. You know okay. what I mean? And so, um, yeah, the, the show is live though. Y'all tune in, tap in. It's going crazy. Yeah, you we know gonna mean? tap in. We gonna we gonna we gonna pull up to the show. We do some media for you. Come through, bro. Y'all are invited. Yeah, yeah. Come through the concert May 18th. It's in the stage, bro. It's gonna yeah, be lit. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be a movie. I got some special guests coming. Out. I don't want to talk about it yet, but y'all come through and y'all y'all I'm trying to bring the whole. A lot of some of the cop people done came to some concerts, but I need y'all to mob out. Yeah. You know what I mean? I need the purple shell.